I'm going to have some of this shit in my teeth by the time we're done with this fucking interview. So. <laughs> kind of like the dude yeah. with the curly hair back there. I kind of wanted to be up in that bush. Okay. I like that's like the, the seventh there. time you've said that, man. Really it's kind of fucked up. And that's really not, man. It's like, hey, we're in Utah. Things are open out here. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Frank, there you go, bud. I mean, you he wouldn't think it's options. open, but... <sighs> okay. That's enough. Got that's enough. cameras everywhere. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We are a family, been, family-friendly yeah, podcast, yeah, right? Family yeah, this is the first weekend we've had this thing. We literally finished it right before we came here. Uh, so we've been. You're kidding still- with the family friendly, right? I can drop a couple bombs. Yeah, you can drop yeah, a couple bombs. Yeah, you're fine. Well, I I normally One don't, but you know. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to hold, hold back. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. Who's this going to? Like who? Like who's your core audience? Just your fans? Yeah, mainly okay. our fans. So. Wasn't and whoever. Sure. I mean, those fans consist of like what are they? Off roaders. So you're not like, you know, this isn't like a going to the elementary school, no, no, no. you know. This is mainly off-road. <laughs> yep. Why does there we, are some kids that listen. Might and be watch a stupid question. So like I don't want to so There's there's some kids that watch us and listen to you. Yeah, we've got nephews and, stuff, and so, but right. I mean, I mean if you tag my name but, in this, my son's going to watch it. But also mm. like <laughs> we you can edit Cooper's podcast. a little bit. He did? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I mean that wasn't that bad. No. I like Cooper. At He's least a good boy, dude. I've never met him or anything. He just seems like such a nice guy. He's I always was chill. When him and Garrett split up, and I don't think it was pretty <clears> bad, you know. His, he needed to do his own thing, I guess. I guess. I mean, he didn't have an option, really. No, he didn't. But at least he carried on. I respect that. You guys got an intro theme? We haven't got one down. We've just been introducing people and then going right at it. So we just kind of like. Actually, we do have to clap to yeah. get the uh, video and audio to sync. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. So Zach taught me that when I started doing podcasts with him. He was like taught me the, the help. Yeah, just so you can spike. The mm-hmm. Yep, match the so spikes. Yeah, we'll let Clint do that and then we'll go into it. Should we start it to drink? We should quick? probably. Oh, do you want a drink? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I need okay, a drink. get a drink. What, you don't have a drink. What? The- I don't have one either. Yeah, I so. need one too. So, what's the yeah. official name of the podcast? Bussin Podcast. Bussin. Yeah, because we're My with son. Freaking comes up to me and goes, "Dude, that's Bussin." I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, because we're in a bus, this yeah, makes more sense. Slightly yeah. different than that terminology. Put that on. <laughs> we'll wait for that end. Yeah, there's you know. already like a whiskey throttle show or something. So yeah, we're trying yeah, to yeah. think like what goes with our like whiskey throttle school district. Hopefully like we're in a eight. bus, we could do bus and podcast. Bus and okay. I'm trying to think of a like a fun song that we could create for this. James, James, James. 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 Oh, what is it? A uh, class, <laughs> like a <laughs> crystal. That, yeah, when they did the the lady did a Bugatti and Mercedes and all this. Like, oh yes. yeah. Oh, this might be like total sacrilege, but I should put some ice in my beer to make it look like I'm drinking something you cool. Can, you don't. Uh, it's it's yeah, sacrilege though, bro. Yeah, I could probably go for some. Ice. Yes, and another cup. If you could do me a favor and um, we go treat. That Tito's. Yeah, that's a. Uh, what are you doing? Just you Tito's want, itself? You want some Tito's? Yeah, freaking, he said there was something here. Beautiful. Well, there's cranberry this. Cranberry juice. That'll go yeah, with Tito's. Tito's. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Oh, boy. We're going to make this happen. We're going to be. Oh. <laughs> go, you're going to sell a Turbo R after you get done with that. I like it. I, I am like going to be driving back to the house, apparently. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, God. I would have never thought that would have happened. What did you <laughs> catch? Harmonics. Did I catch the springs? Just... Yeah. We were playing music with them earlier. Oh, Sounds like some old Nirvana. Yeah. Uh-oh. This is probably the most unprofessional podcast they've ever been on. Like, what in the hell is going on? Uh, no, when we first did the one with Side by Side Blog Live, it was ass. Really? Yeah. It was really bad. I was never on one. Just like stupid singing mics instead of like talking mics. There's a difference. You know? Yeah. But anyway, I don't some, want to talk uh, crap. We'll just move juice. on from that. Yeah, we're going to be happy, Leo. You're yeah, going to be happy. Cranberry juice. Yeah, cranberry juice. Why did you, cranberry you steal cranberry everything? Juice and I need that Coke at the end of the table. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Why? What? There we go. I guess you could do whatever you want. You're you. you could. Well, I'm not going to fucking... Is this your cup? You need oh, the drama's cup? fun, but at the same time, like... When does it get old? It's gotta I be don't know, quick. man. The, this, the boat can only have so many patches at the bottom, you know? Oh, interesting. Ooh, Before it just little sinks little to flow. the ground. Yeah. Clint, we need a little more ice in this. Clint is definitely by far the best, like, bartender I've met in my <laughs> life. I just want to <laughs> give you a, <laughs> This guy right here, he is a master fabricator. He is the really, he is this really? dude. He He's is, the one that's done everything on the white. He is a welder oh, nice. fanatic. He Why does it keep breaking? <laughs> hey, that's the design. That's not the fat. That, yeah, don't say fat. He's the welder. welder. He's the welder. That's he said, why does it keep breaking? We're a bunch of rednecks that just 
tried to throw shit together. Just teasing you. I'm sorry. Did it once, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking one and done, dude. I'm good at that, dude. Jonathan, we have that Coke. Uh, which which kind? That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this the, the Coke. Man, the wood, the wooden wood tables killing the audience. I know. It sucks, dude. Think, it looks so good. I hey, think if we maybe some put some boat, foam that. between you the know table and, on, this? and the doors now. That mm -hmm. foam. Yeah. Yeah, but the fucking table looks like this, so it can look like this. Yeah, I bet we could foam Very between good. the mounts, though. If you just did, like, a clear it. cover, that would be good. Not plastic, yeah. but, like, that shit that you roll around an office chair on. like the in your foam house, you know? that everybody's putting on the doors. Come on, they guys. want the look of yeah. the fucking table. How oh, are you going to do that with stupid-ass <laughs> boat foam on? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I didn't realize We're that getting wound up. It's like having two married people in here. <laughs> He's been talking about boat foam all fucking day. <laughs> That we got to get done with his boat God, I'm doing this podcast to get away from my wife, and I just joined somebody else's marriage. I don't want any boat <laughs> foam. You off and I know. Them. I can't get away from this horrible. No one wants boat foam. Sorry, Frank. They just don't know. This I is like a cool place to <laughs> people watch. Down my can am so yeah, much. I mean, yeah, this is actually really good. This has been great. To it almost watch. seems fake. Like, yeah. Well, how do you get this much traffic? Oh, dude, it's dude, been we've non stop. Because you don't, you're not in it. Good. Good for you guys. Because I'm out there yelling you. at people to buy stuff all day long. Well, I mean, yeah, I got that MC experience. Yeah. yeah. All the time. And oh, my God. Look at. Is there oh a man, fucking man, bachelorette party? On. Yeah, dude. We don't stop over here. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the right side of town. <laughs> what do they got? Oh, there? my God. <laughs> oh, no way, dude. Best hey. hey. play. Hell yeah. 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 Best you got best booth display, dude. Hell people have been yeah. digging the mini, it's been nuts. The, the short box, like the yeah. wood, is, the wood's badass. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Yeah, yeah. congratulations, boys. Yeah. Good job, oh, dude. Look at that, that. Man, another plaque on the wall. If you, you got will. this stuff playing, right? Like, no, like, dude. No, oh no, we hey, should be. Did you read the name? Oh, the son of a hell. Come well, on, on what? Record this bus. Or? No, the name is a little slow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that, I mean, that you know, you could interpret that poorly. Dude, right. Yeah. Oh, it's meant to <laughs> be oh, I know. interpreted poorly. <laughs> and it is great because everyone oh, yeah. I watch <laughs> looks at the bus and they look up and read it. And then like 90% of them start laughing and the other percent just go mm -hmm. and walk away. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to be a friend. Yeah, yeah you're out of here. I don't yeah. like you anyway. Like, you're like, not my your kind. Profile before you <laughs> yeah. Bro, you don't even know us. We are a little slow. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's a little slow in their own yeah. way. Mm hmm Okay, you ready? Yep. Everybody got their drinks? I kind of want to like have a theme song we can all sing together. Like we have to do it to the tune of a popular song, but it also has a word that might sound like bussin' in it. Ooh, it's so hard to I'm do. Down. How do you do it? What do you Well, got? you just have to think of a song that has a word similar to bussin'. What is bussin'? What Isn't rhymes with bussin'? Fussin'. Cussin'. Bussin'. Cussin'. Ooh. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little slow. Fucking, fucking, and cussin'. Ruckin'. Ruckin'. Oh, no. no. Ruckin'. Ruckin. Isn't there a rap song? Like bussing, I'd be bussing on him. Yeah, hey, I could phone my son right now. He'd tell me. <laughs> yeah, probably right. <laughs> He'd give you a of seventeen songs. Why is it that children seem to be more hip than us? Have we reached He's that age in our lives where, brother, like, you just became self-aware, dude? <laughs> oh, like an iRobot. Am I going to start yeah. jumping on buildings with a red heart? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't need the music. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> just thinking is, too is hard. He's only ten. Yeah. <laughs> He's only ten. Oh. He's only ten. We That's should we should start this before this conversation because yeah, 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 yeah. it's about to happen. You guys know it. All right, guys, we're here with Leo and Frankie from Race, Rebuild, Repeat. Yeah, I get that better right? get that R. Right. R. Yeah. R. Yeah. No, R3. 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 Yeah. Better. Yeah, we were going to do a triple R, then we're like, you know what? R3 just hits harder. Yes. Yeah, it's easier yeah. to sign, too. Yeah, I like that. Because I've been used to signing a different letter for a mm -hmm. long time, so this R has been tough, but I only have yeah. to do it once. That's good. Hmm? Yeah. That's good. Everyone knows you from Leo. Yeah, that's what me. What's your real name? Nicholas. Nicholas, yep. Nicholas. Like the saint. Like, ah. I was born near Christmas, so that's why. And L Leonard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways you could do that. Leonard, perhaps, would be good. Leonard. I like Leonard. Leonard's fine. Letard right. comes out once in a while, yeah. too. And Leotard. Frankie. I don't even know your last name, but I know it's Jay. It's Jay. Well, Frankie Jay. <laughs> now, I used to race motocross. My last name is, like, it's German. It's Unich. Okay? Oh, bro, I'm not getting that. Yeah, it starts Spell with it out quick. J-U-N-G-N-I-T-S-C-H. Mm. What did he just say? It's like the alphabet. Yeah. It's I'm not getting that. Yeah, nobody does. So, Jay. It's like my last name <laughs> is Neuendorfer, but everybody has called me New since high school. It's the same way. Yeah. Like, nobody can pronounce it. Neuendorfer, huh? <laughs> yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So those Germans that came over okay. after, you know, the World War II and then That's settled in Mexico. Nice. So should we talk about the big announcement that just came through? 
Yeah. 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 Say it. This is you. This is this it. Is one Come of you on, guys. It. Hit it. What happened right now? We just got. What did it say? Best booth display? Best booth. Yeah. Beth, best booth display. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. We put a lot of work into this bus, and it, <laughs> apparently it paid off, dude. We've been getting a lot of a lot of traffic, so Heck it's good. It's awesome. It's good. So what do you guys want to talk about? What's going on in here? We're drinking? We're drinking apple juice. Okay. Yeah. Um, apple cider. Yeah. You got apple cider? Because it was. this is beer, actually. Mm. <laughs> oh. is it really? We can drink beer in here. <laughs> okay, good. Um, beer is legal? Beer is legal. Because they sell good. it here. But they sell it, so... Yeah, but they don't everything else. Yeah, is apple juice normal? Yeah, or apple cider that works. Whatever. So you guys started <laughs> your first, well, not your first, but you started a new YouTube channel. That's it, brother. Everybody yeah. should know that by now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys have been rocking it for three weeks, four weeks, uh, a little over a month. I think it's just been yeah, just crossed a month. Yeah, nice, nice. It got a ton of traction. Ton of traction, dude. It's out here like a drag slick, hooking yeah. and booking. It's mostly because Frank, really. No, Honestly, I mean, no, it's all you. We. Uh, we get it. It's just you. Okay. All right. I don't want to say that, but yeah, dude. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how the round of applause we're giving yeah. each other. Just yeah. to myself. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. You know, That's nothing you know, he's, wrong with that. He's using me, but really I'm using him because I've always wanted my own personal photo. Or, uh, the videographer? The videographer. So, yeah. I mean, he did I say that to me at one point. Uh, listen, man. Leo puts a good, a good YouTube video together. Like that is one thing that you were very good at. Thank you. Been doing a lot of them, turns out. Mm-hmm. When you do it a lot, you get good at it. Yeah. I just do what I think is cool, and then you don't want to do what other people think is cool, Mm -hmm. because then you're just really satisfying nobody, right? Yep. Yep. Or or, or there's a potential to satisfy no one. When we come into it, we're like, we're going to do what we like. If people don't like it, I guess we're not going to be good at it. But Yeah, Yeah. people like it. People just like it. You've been doing a lot more... Like your truck came in, yeah. A lot of racing, yep. A lot, a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. Some mixing in there with just not side by side stuff, like yeah, yeah. That's where we're we know we're not we're not strictly anything. We're everything. If we it's got, got a motor in it, I want to race it. Yeah, Frank wants to race it. He, I mean, he's been in the trucks forever. Like diesel truck stuff was mm-hmm. his bread and butter. Right. You know, fifteen years ago. Right. And then I've been in the car stuff forever as well. So, you just makes mag- sense. You got a Magnum that you tow with. <laughs> I do. So awesome! Well, it's I'm, got a hammy. <laughs> I'm not even lying. My wife saw that car and she's like, "Oh, that's cute. I I, I kind of want one of those." And then the video kept right. going, so and the transmission blew, and I was like, "That's why we don't have one." Of those. <laughs> I mean, it didn't blow technically. Well, okay, yeah, didn't blow. When the started Magnum leaking. first came out, I was I don't think I was quite married yet, but I was in the position to buy my girlfriend, wife. I don't remember when it was. We weren't married yet. I was in a position to like buy her a brand new one. I wanted a freaking Magnum that bad. I wanted the wagon. I ain't driving a freaking hearse, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> They are sweet cars. There's something about, like, like as you get older as a man, you it just start liking wagons. A cool car. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a bad car. Yeah. I, I like feel it. like they should have kept making it. Like, if it they could have made a Hellcat, like, with the newer body style, like, newer Charger body <laughs> style. Oh, God, with a Magnum body. That would have been nuts. Some people so, do that. There's a guy out there right now that uh, literally just took a charger, chopped the top off it, and dropped a Magnum top on it. Oh, Yeah, God. that's a so flex, dude. brand new charger cut. Was it a Hellcat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine and doing that? dropped the Magnum roof on it. Like that's, the whole thing. Like, oh. That's, <laughs> a, dream. Yeah. that's a dream rip yeah. right yep. there. I'm not sure what would be easier, to put a Hellcat in a Magnum or to put a Magnum top on a Hellcat. Well, just you know? to have... I mean, yeah, because apparently they're super easy to swap. Literally, you drop the cradle out, and you can dr- bolt the motor right in. Yeah, bolt holes in locations are all the same. Yeah, Seriously. four bolts. Boom. Even the dash, the too, cradle. is the same. The dash, Dude. seats, door panels, everything just literally bolts all on. It's pretty crazy. insane. That's awesome. 04, or I mean, 2005 to 2022, they're all the same. Yeah, they didn't make a lot of changes on that platform. <laughs> 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 I'm sure there's going to be people correcting you and telling you there's other things to do. Mm. Like apparently the window switches are all goofy if you you got to do some weird thing with the windows. But yeah, other than that, simple stuff, dude. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Wow, the energy out here is pretty wild. Like this is this is <laughs> yeah. serious. All these people around, like it's. I cool. don't know. Can the cameras see all that? How do, can they? Uh, I think see something. Yeah, it's worth it. This is awesome. It's been yeah. crazy all day, not, nonstop. It's pretty yeah. rad. I think this whole, like the whole Whiskey Throttle family, like if you hang out with them once, you're never going to want to leave them because this is how it is like all the time. That's awesome. Like, that, that's a great following. And that's like the base of starting something awesome is having an awesome following. Yeah. So and I feel like good. the grassroots is, is real here. When you're yeah. entertaining and you, yeah. and you look like, you know, 
Colton. Like <laughs> hippie. <laughs> it's the hair, dude. I don't know. Hippie. Where are your guys' dreads at? Your brothers? Dude. What the hell, dude? Dread his beard or something. I wanted to take these out so many times, but why? They get annoying. Okay. When you swim, they're like super heavy. <laughs> and I, I don't take, swim that like, often, dude. I take, I take. It takes me more time now to take care of my hair than it, like by far, than I ever used to. Can we get a quick routine? Yeah. So I'm curious on this. Every month I get them redone. Got to go to the salon. I like wait, a wait, women's wait. salon. What do you mean redone? So they go in and they tighten everything up, make okay. it look nice, shave the sides of my head. Um, I wash my hair once a week, but that one time takes me fucking forever. It's like an hour long shower wow. trying to like wash everyone, make sure because I don't want them dirty and nasty like sure. other people's dreads. You know. I'm what about like a soaking situation? Can you just soak your head? I probably could. Yeah. Dip okay. Some Epsom salt or something. Yeah. yeah. I use there's some like apple cider actually. I have some like weird hippie apple cider. ACV, thing. dude. Everyone loves that stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it goes in and I, I like use that. And there. Never thought about that. Apple cider vinegar? Yeah. I was excited vinegar. about the ACV now. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> kind of pumped about that. Go yeah. like gold. <laughs> it's the little things. You know? <laughs> yeah, so I mean before it was like, oh, three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, shampoo be, done. Done. Never did anything. Never went to a salon. Never did. You know, got my hair cut every once in a while and hmm. went about it. Wow. Now it's like a thing where I have to actually go in and take care of it, so it don't look all nasty and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you feel, do you feel kind of like married to the dreads now? Because that's your look. Yeah, it's a little bit of that. Okay. Because every time I've seen you, it's like this this guy. With the yeah. Dreads, you know. Yep. People know me for it now, and yep. so it's like, do I really want to? Yeah. If you wouldn't have the dreads, off? then I want to know who you were. Yeah. It's like Coolio. You know, he ain't cutting his dreads. No, nah, he's always got to have that it's one little... Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? It's too late. So, I guess they'll stay. I mean, they're pretty badass, right? Yeah. I so mean, I like I, them. Do you want dreads, Frank? I don't think I could run. You got all the hair, though. I, I do have a lot of hair. I you do. he could pull it off nicely. Yeah. yeah. You got enough I'm hair to do it. edgy. I feel like you're pretty edgy. Has anybody ever seen you drive before? Because I've seen a couple <laughs> videos. <laughs> Just scary. scary. Very scary. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is a good segue into Frank's driving. So, like, <laughs> How'd the last race go? Uh, I broke. <laughs> well, he broke, but I think he's, even if it didn't break, he, he would have been in the finals for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you were, were ripping. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You were shredding. Got the car figured out. I'm mostly talking about on the road driving because I've been doing a lot of that with him recently. <laughs> oh, gotcha, and especially gotcha. in, a, in a rental car in Utah where you can just see for like a mile straight. Yeah, dude. You can just go as fast as you want out here, it turns it's out. Different. It's, you know, and you're in a Ford Edge. Not even an Edge. It's a... Is it's that escape. an escape? It's an is escape. that what that is? It's yeah. Escape. It's a three-cylinder. It's a turbo. <laughs> That's a three-cylinder? Yeah, I it's think so. Dumbest. I saw y'all's off-roading, and I was watching the all-wheel drive <laughs> system in the video that y'all yeah. just dropped, and I was like... <laughs> Why is that wheel turning? That other wheel's not turning, and then the other wheel's turning, and the, then the wheel that was turning yeah. is not turning. It's yeah. like none of them actually turn. Then all of a sudden, the car starts moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's unclear. What's going on here? Well, every differential's open, so yeah. that's your first problem. Yeah. Center diff open, front yeah. diff open, rear diff yeah. open. Leo's all telling me, "Hold the brake. That'll lock them up." I hold the brake. The car shuts off. Like, oh yeah, if you have an open God. diff, you know, you hold the brake, it turns the power to the other one. But yeah, I was waiting for an good. axle to break the entire video, and I started watching wow. it yesterday. We weren't. We weren't on. You couldn't hit the throttle hard enough. There's, there's no way, like, the car doesn't give it enough power. Really? It literally. Yeah, it's regulated big time. Regulated everything. And I think we were on 85 octane, which is for not sure. good probably for a turbo uh, car. No. I would not. imagine y'all have got about 93, 93 ponies probably coming out of that escape <laughs> maximum. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Downhill. So what's the what's the deal on the octane here, guys? Can we talk about this quick? <sighs> Dude, oh. I don't know what our problem is, but oh. we can't get it together. That's worse than some subjects you could ever bring up on this. I mean, uh, look, we're in Utah. It feels touchy. You You could, like, ask about LDS. You can ask about the liquor here, but you got to touch on the octane. Well, I'm interested in the octane because I go go to a gas station. Let's alcohol quick because didn't somebody say that the alcohol is actually lesser in the Our our beers are 4.2. It used to be be here. It used to be, like, 3.2, but a couple years ago. So the sells here that sells in Michigan is different. Mm -hmm. It used to be. used to be, yeah. Now it's the same. They a couple years ago, it, they changed right? it. From so. 3.2 to 4.2, yeah. right? And that's, that's what it is. That's a good beer, though, 4.2. Yeah. And that's what it is where you guys are from, right? Like, a normal mm, beer. It could uh, be 4.5, 5, 5.5, depends on the beer. So, uh, like, our IPAs and stuff that you would get at a restaurant can vary. They'll go up to, like, 8%. Well, yeah. Okay, whatever. so that's normal beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. but, like, your Michelob Ultras or whatever. 4. Anything 2. you buy in the store is going to be 4.2. 
Hmm. So that sucks, dude. Yeah. It's very funny because I learned so I moved here from Vegas six years ago and I was like, Utah, this sounds great. And then I realized there was a church and then I went to go buy beer and I, I bought a case of Bud Light. Don't <laughs> hail, don't kill me anybody. This is pre times. <laughs> um, and, and like oh, you're good, dude. I drank like fourteen of them and I'm like, I'm a big guy, but like I'm like, I'm not even getting a buzz. And I looked at it and I was like, three point two. 3.2 i was like what is going on right now right, like right. it literally would take almost a case of beer to get me drunk yeah, and i was yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that sounds like more of a personal bad. problem to me guys yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm an alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> i mean there could be something else case going on beer. <laughs> i mean 3.2 dude that's like drinking coca-cola you know like with the yeah it's anyways it was interesting yeah to it, learn this place yeah. is interesting it's cool like the scenery and stuff here is amazing 70 mm-hmm. percent of the people are awesome 70%. Probably. Like 80, 90%. Yeah, where's these 30%? Yeah, bro. I don't know. Outside so, of this, probably. Th- Actually, driving down the highway. Oh, yeah. idiot drivers out here. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. God. laughs> oh, my God. They're the worst. We got flipped off can we, so many times. Can we talk about that one, too? And then we'll yeah. get into the octane. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it, dude. Yeah, we all agree on that. You haven't even been to Utah County. I just, uh, I don't understand. How are they all, like, not cool? Yeah. You got good highway speeds. You got open roads. Right. The roads are smooth. There's not even really potholes anywhere. No potholes. There's not. We're li- yes, I'm here, bro. Go to Michigan, you ever been dude. To Michigan? Yeah, no. Bro. I've been to Michigan. It's pretty. It's pretty crazy it? out there. Well, I like thought a, our roads sucked. It looks like there's a war that happened very recently. <laughs> like the, the Civil because, War happened three days well, ago. Yeah. So out here, well, in our in Michigan, you're allowed uh, 180,000 pounds on a semi. Here oh my god. Allowed, here you're allowed 80,000 pounds. So the roads get killed. Damn. Yeah. And the like up out here, you guys are allowed these triple semis, which are you know 180 feet long or whatever. I don't even know how long you're allowed out here, but fuck. Yeah, it's a, it's a th- it's a triple dog. And, yeah. and we're only allowed, I think it's 75 feet long. So everything is short. So we got 180 thousand pounds in 75 feet. Oh. So the roads geez. just get you know we got killed. We're allowed, I think, is it 12 axles? Yeah, I don't know for sure. That's but. more your knowledge, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. We could barely drive our rigs in Michigan. Our bus, we so we have full size school buses that we turn into motorhomes, okay. and then we tow trailers with them. They're seventy five feet to yeah. the T. Yeah. They don't really care too much yeah, about that I if mean, you're private. Gonna, oh, so it's just CDL drivers. Well, it's all commercial yeah, stuff. Yeah. So it's it's meant to allow business to remain in Michigan, right? So if yeah. you move, like let's say you move it to one hundred and twenty thousand pounds, right? What about all the trucking companies that operate at one hundred eighty five? Now they have to have you know a third more of the trucks to make it work. Yeah. So it keeps jobs there, whatever. The big three are there, and there's a lot of heavy stuff moving around all the time. Yep. It just kills the roads, though. Yeah. And we're surrounded by water, so like our train stations don't really exist too much. Yeah. Out here, mm. you guys got trains that can go yeah. everywhere. In every state. Yeah. We yeah. have one way in and one way out. Yeah. Because uh, it's a, it's a giant that. peninsula yeah. at the end of the day, so... May I ask one question? Can I ask yeah. a question? Go yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. We're, we're like in school right now. Um, do you guys live in the point where, or have you ever gone to the lake um, where you can see Chicago at the other side? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, Lake Michigan, yeah. Lake Michigan. Does it look like you see the entire city or is the earth got an actual <laughs> curve to going it? It's not, <laughs> I'm right in the the I'm just trying to figure out if the earth is flat or not. And <laughs> this is, oh, my God. <laughs> from, so from our dunes. Our Silver dunes, Lake, right? Silver Lake, yes. There's certain times that in the, in the year you can look across the water because the dunes is right on the water. And you can look over there and you can see like weird light. And you, just, you think it's uh, uh, Packer. Where are the Packers from? Green, 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 Bay. Bay. Green Bay. Bay. You think it's Green Bay. Uh-huh. And could it be could, it's aliens? We don't even know. Oh. It's, all, it's so far across. This is like, news oh, You should not yes. be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. You don't ever stay out of the dunes late. Well, yeah. Why would I? It's probably a ship, brother. I don't know. There's a lot of shipping no, right yeah. through there. Okay. Yeah. Huge, ships. huge lighting system. It sounds like you've been seeing UFOs. This is the first time I've heard of it. I think the name of this podcast should be that we have confirmed the Earth is indeed flat. It's flat. Okay. I don't know. I feel like we didn't do enough testing. Really. <laughs> Carry on. That's enough of that question. <laughs> next. Up. Yeah. Next. Back to 85 octane. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's where we're So we got 85, what, 87 and 91? Yeah. Y'all have 93? No. Oh, yeah. No. no. Oh, they do. Yeah. 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 I have not seen 91. I think I saw 85, 87, and 89 oh, really? at the last place. I oh, went. really? Yeah. Uh, most of our stuff has 91. Yeah. We have okay. 91. Most That's not horrible then. Same as California. Yeah. But the 85, like, is there a scientific reason you guys know about at all? 
Like, is there something going on? Is it altitude? Is that a real thing? I don't know. I think it's the LDS church since they have everything else to do with this <laughs> entire state and they run the entire state. It's probably mm-hmm. them. Do you know we don't even have a state? Uh, we don't even have regular liquor stores. You have to go to a state liquor store. Yeah, they're run yeah. by the state. State run. And close on Sunday. Fun fact number 73 for the podcast. Also, to tell you, the um, LDS church is pretty much in charge of our alcohol uh, commission out here. The uh, Alcohol Bureau Commission is controlled completely completely by the church out here, which I think is very weird. So, Can we maybe just have our heads wrapped around this LDS thing? I don't. That's not anything I know about. Huh? Maybe you don't want to talk about it. We're no, just fine. We're, Move on. Uh, we, we're not LDS. Mormon. What does that even Mormon. mean? So Mormon. it's Mormons. Mormon. Church of Latter-day yeah. Saints. You ever that's seen the the I've seen commercials. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> have you heard of Mormons? course yeah, yeah. That's same, Mormons. Thing. Same, so, same thing they're on the so, bikes so mormons are the they're on the bikes <laughs> <laughs> they are they're most of them are pretty nice thing. you know what i mean no. <laughs> and there's some bad things you know what i mean <laughs> jonathan's random shit yeah seriously <laughs> oh, sorry i'm adhd my bad guys i'm now, adhd lds i will say this like it's there's a lot <laughs> sorry LDS. I don't have anything wrong with anything. That was the my biggest thing is Just the culture joke. shock when we got here. I was straight up culture shock coming from Sin City to the city of no sins is what mm. I would call Salt Lake. Everybody's kind out here. Um, it is a friendly state for the most part. If you notice, it's pretty clean. You don't see trash everywhere. True. I will say that the church running the state, even though they say they won't, it, it is a good thing some parts of it and there's a negative i don't i mean you guys grew yeah. up out here so y'all know more than i do about does it, it affect your daily life not really no oh, okay yeah. right. i mean you get people that look at you kind of weird when you got tattoos i mean that's normal drinking, anyway right? no matter what like, you look yeah. like yeah i don't really care hmm. it doesn't bother me okay and for the most part they just hang out there's parts of there's people that are in that church that are very judgy and okay mm-hmm. make it known but for the most part they're cool people I mean, there's judgy people everywhere. Though. Yeah, so oh, it's not yeah. like I mean, a special yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, nah, look at Catholics; they go yeah. in and they, on Sundays they repent all their sins where they did. And that's kind of how it is here. Yeah, yeah. growing up, got my friends smoking pot and drinking, yeah. and then they Let's like, go, go in on Sunday and repent. And yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, I can't believe you didn't repent." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even smoke pot with you. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an yeah. interesting. Thing. There's a lot to learn here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody wants to hear about this. <laughs> no. Where are these motors at? Uh, I mean, what motors? I don't even care. <laughs> motor and the steering wheel. Let's talk about somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's talk about this YXZ. I mean, come on. Right. People about know about it. the YXZ, yeah. but like, let's get a full explanation so I can hear it personally and react to it. Why I'm dumb and decided to jump a YXZ? <laughs> no, dude, you're talking to the YXZ man right here. I mean, you don't well, want to hit him. Doesn't that hard. look much smarter than that. I do. That's <laughs> 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 wrong. His is broke too. <laughs> it's a good point. It's driving the X3. Right. It's literally <laughs> sitting on its shelf. Yes. <laughs> oh we my saw god. It. Twelve foot in the air. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I mean, what do you want to know about it? Just what's the deal with it? Yeah. Give us the full build breakdown when, when here. When did you start? When did you extend it and do all the like rear, so rear end stuff? In 2019, we built our own suspension for it. Okay. Um, it worked good. We went through a couple different renditions of it. The front and, end. I remember and seeing the a picture end. of it. I don't know if you remember. One. I commented on the front end, like you probably your I first rendition of the front end, and I'm like, "Driver, that's not gonna work." <laughs> and I you call him driver? I don't. know. He says that to me sometimes. It's I, weird. I, I call people <laughs> driver. Sorry. And I'm like, ugh. There's something about that that doesn't look like it's going to hold. And you went out and sent it, and I think it did what it was supposed to do. And I was like, okay. It correct. held. It correct. Actually, I broke an A-arm, I think. Yeah. The A-arms broke. That, the, the shock mounts held great. Well, but, but it was a horrible design. Yeah, it was a bad that design. That first one. So we redesigned it, and it worked good for like a year and a half. Yeah. And then I piled it up in Oregon. Like yeah, bad. I saw that one. Yeah. yeah, that was bad. Was that when I was there? Uh, none of us have been to Oregon, so no. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought he was dead. Like, I remember running it was through bad. the sand. Like, mm-hmm. all, all of us were running. I thought that he was dead. It was a nasty one. Were you, were you running hurt? before he was done rolling? I, at, in the middle of the roll, I think I started running. Cause That's we, how you know it's a good yeah, crash. Because yeah. yeah. nobody was there. It was me, you. It was Jim only York. a few of us that were there. Jim York was there and my wife. Like, none of the rest yeah. of the crew was there. And I was like, oh, my God, if he dies, why Carly's not here? This they, is going to be terrible. It's crazy. My wife was watching it on YouTube or uh, on their yeah. uh, live Facebook stream. Live. And yeah. it, it froze oh. when I wrecked. 
And so she didn't know like if I was okay or what. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she was losing worst. her mind in Utah. It was crazy. We were all watching it and all of a sudden like Colton jumps and it's just like nothing. And then you see like his car piled up in, in, in piles and we're just watching comments. He's okay. He's okay. You know, like we're just watching and all of a sudden he said, yeah. he's okay. He's out of the car. I'm like, holy fuck. Wow. Yeah, that's that's got to be thing. scary. Yeah. It ruined the, like pretty much everything but the frame. Wow. The, uh, every suspension component was just destroyed. Wow. Just destroyed. Nuts. So where do you go from there? You just rebuild? Yeah. So after that, um, George from from Avid UTV, mm-hmm. you know, that kit. That. Yeah. So he reached out to me and we worked out a deal to put his kit on there. And that's the kit that's on there now. Okay. okay. So strong. Um, yeah, it's strong. We had to rebuild the whole car in like two months to make it out to Oklahoma. Wow. To Jay okay. for Mid-America. And, I and forgot so you had to make a custom drive shaft. Yeah, you custom drive shaft. The... How many inches is added to the back of that thing? I think it's 14, isn't it? 13. 13. I think it's 13 wow. added. That's well, long. It's that's long. long. It's a long car. Yeah. And that's to get the the rock angle. Yeah. Yep. Because it was the car set up mm-hmm. horrible from factory. Yeah. The, and they don't yeah. care to fix it. It's so. terrible. And it changes like it changes some uh, AR mounts up front. So mm-hmm. the lower A arms, I think, are moved. They're just extended. So the rear lower A arm is in the stock position. Okay. But the rear front A arm is in a different position. So there's like a little weld on piece that you put on. Okay. That. That's cool. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, we got it all together, mm-hmm. put it together, and it made it like 20 minutes in Oklahoma, and I forgot to put a cotter pin in. Oh, is that oh, what that was? Yeah. Oh, mm. So my wheel fell off and ruined all kinds of shit. I remember Dang that. It. I forgot <laughs> it all about bummer. that. Yeah. It was a bummer. That yeah, so sucks. We drove forever. And I, f- I fucking caught a pin. <laughs> I mean, it's all, yeah. It's hey, you know, we looked at it, and there's a couple bolts loose. That you got. There is a couple bolts loose. So I literally put that car together to bring it here. here it looks put good. It in UMC show. So we've been working on it for a while, but it wasn't quite ready. Like, I didn't have a diff. It was just been sitting there without a diff. And mm. I blew up a diff last year, and I, it's just sitting. So I'm not going to buy a diff, you know, because. Right. It's, Unless it, you have a plan for yeah, it, yeah. I'll, I'll buy it when I need it. And so what's the plan? What's coming up? What are you doing this year? So the plan is for Invasion, we'll be there doing a jump show. Which for, one? Uh, Utah. Okay. Sweet. So you guys will be there too? Yeah. So th- there's there's Idaho and Utah, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay. It's a I should know fun. that. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Y'all, you, t- y'all should go to Utah. to figure out which one we're going to. Ooh. We're going to Idaho yeah. Or Utah. What's the Idaho, dates on them? Probably. May something is Utah. Okay. Uh, Labor Day is Idaho. And then I mean, I, think, I would go in May. I think that's legit. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Our our local dunes are like you park and you have this face of a bunch of dunes and nobody realizes, but there's a whole bunch of bowls behind that. Okay. And it's like racetrack stuff. Like it's... It's pretty fun. It's Sounds fun. like fun. They're yeah. fun dunes. And the party is just... It's a lot yeah. of fun. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's a lot of good St. Anne's, on the other hand, Better is dunes. probably the best really dunes. Like party, so... No. You don't like the party, Frank? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Times are changing here at R3, uh, apparently. See Frankie growing up, man. Good job, man. Yeah, finally. I'm going to stick to be a 42-year-old child. I think his kids like are going to be older than him before he grows up. So, <laughs> Saint Anne's his kids on? will grow up before he does? I mean, my daughter's uh-huh. definitely older than me already. Actually. How old is she? 13. Nice. I got a 14-year-old daughter. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are the same person. You just don't know it yet. Yeah. yeah. If if I was to hang out here, brought me. Kid yeah. with hearts, man. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I would always root for Frankie to kick everyone's ass in his YXC. Yeah. And then it always like... He's a driver. Pop out of gear or something. I'm like, fuck. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> bro- Come on. Yeah, dude, that car broke a lot. Yeah, they do. And it's crazy because, you know, it's only on like 13 pounds of boost. Mm-hmm. But it makes a pretty good amount of power at 13 pounds of boost. It's a big mo engine. Yeah. So Dennis mm-hmm. Mott, it's a full-on yep. big mo engine. just doesn't have the supporting factors that a big mo takes to get her done or whatever but for anyone that doesn't know mott motorsports he, he built some yeah. amazing stuff old denny dude yeah, yeah. Old denny he's uh, got a lot of re- world records still holding from mm-hmm. many years ago on snowmobiles like that big mo is a solid platform yep sweet okay hmm. i didn't know it was a big mo i just thought it was a yxz motor it's uh yeah no i mean it is a yxz motor but it's for, a but built. built it's just a built yeah it's yeah. not bored out or i didn't know like this that. about that yeah. car yeah. it used to be a um what was the viper a 10, 1098 10, yeah it used to be that, and then for some reason I couldn't keep that motor together. Crazy. I, I wonder why. I was, <laughs> I was tuning it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. the truth comes out. The Frankie tune. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the FT FT ECU? Yeah. So I'm in the I'm on a laptop 
me personally. Writing tunes. <laughs> Probably not the smartest. Thing I want to know why Cletus has never called you up for a tune. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> so you are the OG Dr. Tune em all, is what you're telling me. He's uh, a like Dr. The, tune em one. I was, it was bad. We went through, I went through a lot of motors. And apparently, you know, when you start ramping up boost, you uh, got to take timing out. Oh. I mean, the motor, I was always on 110. I never heard no knocking or anything like that, but yeah. geez, that motor just did not like me. How much yeah. timing were you running? significant amount like do you have a number uh, i was in the 30s okay there's your problem <laughs> right there at, yeah at you know 12 13 pounds of boost yeah that's your problem yeah and it was crazy because you can ramp it up at whatever rpm you want and <sighs> you take i was taking it away but i wasn't taking it away soon enough so that's yeah. why the car ran so good in mid-range just crazy the cylinder pressures freaking, yeah! <laughs> they did too uh, it Unreal. ripped yeah. did rip yep did now you know he's tuned it so it r- runs good or whatever, but just needs a transmission in. <laughs> it just wasn't what you wanted. Put a little huh? transmission in. Minor details. Minor details. Yeah. So what's on the schedule of UTV stuff for you this year? You, so you're jumping. You're going to the invasion. Yeah, we'll be jumping at takeover. Okay. Uh, takeover events. So um, it's like a. Is it going to be like the specific? Sorry, I said invasion. He said takeover. My bad. Well, no, we are jumping in invasion as well. Okay. So the takeover they have their specific jumping classes. Yeah. right? Okay. No. Oh. Those so, are pretty cool. Yeah. Takeover does a good job. So we put on a show for Invasion, which isn't a competition. It's just like our group. Okay. Insurance purposes and stuff, you know. Sure. So we just put on a show for Invasion. It, we did that last year, and it was really good in Utah. I like putting on shows. Yeah. You're a big show guy. Maybe if you're out for Utah. Hmm. We could see, see how far we can send the next three. She's I mean, pretty tough. Uh, for, I mean, uh, the multicolored Frankenstein went quite a ways. No, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. It, did, it did good. Yep, so we got that one, and okay. then the competition start for TakeOver in Oregon in June, the end of June. Okay, sweet. So we'll be there. Um, we go Who else June. is jumping with you? So his wife jumps very competitively. What? She was, oh, uh, she can out-jump oh, she's most of the people yeah. here. She took second in the last competition we were at. How far? Uh, 148, 144. That's big. Yeah, it's yeah, big. She's not Especially for the jump. Big. Like, the jump's built so everyone can hit it. Sure. So going, yeah, like... I mean, I was at 156, and okay. I was pinned. Like, to go that far, you, you're you in it the whole time. Yeah. I would say balls of steel, but it doesn't really yeah. apply in this case. <laughs> yeah. Dude, she she hammers down. And she's been jumping less than six months, or she had been. And what is she driving? A Turbo S. Perfect oh, car. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I That's love the that. jump car. Yeah. Dude, that is the... It's my favorite platform. Mm, they honestly. really they messed up getting rid of that car. Yeah, it is a it was the perfect and is still one of the most perfect cars ever made. Yeah, yeah the I mean, my Turbo it. S. The brand new XP chassis, I think, is the new Turbo S. Mm. Oh, which X? The, the oh, non- the new. Oh, I don't like turbo. it. That you never. If you you've, like driven, it, you've driven? No, but I don't like like the like shocks are teeny doors. on it. Mm. Oh my god! So but when they make really a, when good? they make a big one though, if they ever do, <clears> they could like, make a like a seventy two inch model yeah. of that and make a newer Turbo S. That would be sick. I'm telling yeah. you, like we got this bull that we ride up in St. Helen, mm-hmm. and that car ripped. Really? Like, I've not drove one yet. Have y'all drove yeah. one yet? No, I haven't drove one. Huh? Yeah. It like it's only a thousand non turbo, but. Like the power delivery, everything is so perfect in that car. Is that the same motor that they have in the Expedition? Yeah. Okay. So is it okay. a new Pro Star? Is it okay. still a two cylinder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. It rips. Like yeah, I think it's like 112 horsepower. Impressed. And there's whoops. You know, they're three foot tall whoops, and you're coming in there wide open, and just cranking the wheel, and the car just it's only 64 inches wide. I'm thinking the thing's gonna roll, tip, do whatever, and it just. Right. Like easy. Pizza, huh? He didn't. He didn't think to slow down. Let's just think about that sentence that weird, you said. Weird. There. <laughs> I did a practice lap. Whose car was this? <laughs> yeah. That's what Whose I'm car was this? So this was. Bef- um, I got some Canadian friends, and this was before um, America even had this car. So they brought it over and let me drive it. So really? Wait, it came out in Canada before the U.S. Yes. Canada gets all the cool stuff. They got maple syrup. They can import their cars <laughs> like from Japan like, like way earlier. Oh, true. Justin Trudeau, that guy's tight. But yeah, they I'm do a have like a lot of socialism <laughs> going on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I don't think it's that cool. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna good. stick to America. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stick with my maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Canada though. Like it's it's a sweet area. Like mm-hmm. it's kind of like the Utah of the North. You, you know? guys are yes. super close. Yeah. Like an like hour that, and a half. They're all around us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Canada <laughs> everywhere. I've never been to Canada. So what is your guys' favorite place to ride? Great question, dude. Man. I don't I know. I've been everywhere yet, so... Uh, <clears throat> What's your yeah. favorite place to date that you ride? That you've ridden? Oh, not to go on a date, but to... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> date. I mean, I'd I mean, think... Glamis. 
<laughs> probably for oh, me. Oh, yeah. there you just go. Just the unstoppable level of duning that you can do for, like, you can ride an hour straight, no problem. They need to go to St. Anthony's. And just go deep. See, now, I enjoy Silver Lake because it's, you know, if you break down, yeah, everything is right there. Most of the stuff is directional. Mm-hmm. So you can huck it over everything and you're, you know, 90% fine. I yeah. plan on being out this year to do Silver Lake. I, I do really plan on coming out to do that. And okay, all prepare to be disappointed. Yeah, I, I've size. been told multiple times by like <laughs> Zach and all them, like it's not what you think it is. I'm like, I just want to ride every dune in America. You if, know? Yeah. that's if, a cool goal. Yeah. Yeah. If the, if it's been a good year, like the wind's blowing the right direction, there's mm-hmm. a lot of good jumps. Like, ah. yeah, it does look that way. Yeah. It's more seen- like Glamis is like a ra- not Glamis, but Silver Lake is like a racetrack. Right. Yes. Like Coos Bay, probably. I'm guessing. Yeah. Coos like. mm-hmm. Bay is pretty like, it's just a strip of yep. dunes. Because when Zach went with us last year to Coos Bay, he was like, "Dude, this is like a bigger version of Silver Lake, but cooler." But like it's Coos not directional. Bay, it's not directional though. So you have like yeah, an scared. unspoken, I think, directional that, like, I don't know. Did you not feel like we would always go to the right side when we would go? Like north, and we would go to the left side when we came back, or did you not have that feeling when we were yeah, there? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's fun, though. Lots of tree fun. shoots. Yeah. I like that. Like It is pretty cool. You can drive literally right to the ocean. Yeah. That's badass, too. Yeah. It we, is, yeah. Which it's is kind of like Pismo. Like, I've always wanted to go to Pismo, too. too. That's like, yeah. I got a question. Yeah. You guys run dune flags? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all run them in the front. Yeah, the what is oh, yeah. Why are yours not on the front? Why are yours why are, on the why front? Why are yours on the front? <laughs> because if you're going up a dune... It makes sense. It okay. Makes, that, that, if you're going up a dune and you got someone coming at you, I want my flag seen way before if it's in the back, drooped out. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. actually tip my flag forward on my machine so when I'm going uphill, the flag's standing even straighter up. Huh. I'll be honest, it does Physics. make sense. When I first saw the when I saw Zach and Jake come over and they ran their flags in the front when we were in Coos Bay, I was like, What's going on? Y'all got these poles coming out, <laughs> you got like little foam on your front yeah, so you don't yeah. bang your hood up. It does. It makes sense because I can I mean, tell you so many accidents have yeah. happened right in front of us. Just uh, going uphill makes inside. sense. I was always like, well, it's only like what, an eight foot gap, right? Like, not is a big that deal. really going to help? But d- going uphill, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean that's where you want to see. Mm-hmm. I, I'd rather see it. Yeah. If I got uh, half a second that I can see a flag before mm-hmm. that, like, it dude, it's help. ugly though. He's the first person to make a logical argument yeah, about a front that flag. Is, that was actually pretty incredible. That was pretty for good. probably I mean, the first thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, we'll give you a clap. What a good guy, dude. <laughs> I mean, Everyone back, hates that, but... Back in our diesel days, shit, we'd have, you know, two, three flags off the front, you know, hanging every which way, just so people didn't, you know... It does it make sense, because I, yeah. I very much... I lead a lot, and uh, so does Colt. Yeah. He leads a lot, and, like... I'm always watching for flags. Yeah. Because, right. man, I've seen so many, in Glamis especially. How much carnage did you guys see on your last trip at Camp Razor? Other than me coming over a Razorback, <laughs> zero carnage. Really? Dude, I just, oh. maybe my eyes don't go to the carnage, but like. Oh, my God. I've also never had a close call in Glamis other than like in a congested area. But out Duning have never had a close call ever. So that weekend, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Dumont, which is another series of dunes that are semi-close, really fun dunes, they were closed yep. because of a washout. So the crowd that we saw for Camp Razor was not only the normal Camp Razor crowd, it was also, you know, thousands of other mm-hmm. people from Dumont coming there. It was, that was the bit. Where did y'all camp at? Were you in the wash? Wash or? one. Oh, y'all. Oh, right, right at the beginning. Oh, the dust show. Gotcha. Oh. It wasn't that bad, really? honestly, this year. The the winds were pretty kind to us, but like uh, we would always camp in the same spot because we knew how to get back there. We knew how to get everywhere right. from there, and it was Radio cool being tower. close. Yeah, it was cool being close to the beach store and then the mm-hmm. vendor row as well. So, but you can go down like twenty miles or something. Right? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, Colt, yeah, we've, nev- we've never been to Glamis. I'm begging it's them time, to go brother. to this yeah. for yeah. New yeah. Year's. I want to go so bad. It's some of the yeah. best dooning. It's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's too late this year. I guess you could still go, but yeah, it's well, not getting to I the mean, end. Yeah. At this point, you just might as well come up Silver Lake and just be done with it. Yeah. You know when and you be come done Silver Lake? <laughs> Did you, you just did it there. What's in June? End endish of June. Then you can come to Dirt Fest. <sighs> oh, oh, Dirt Fest. Oh, oh, He'd be perfect fest. for that. What is come Dirt on, Fest? Boy. Come on, boy. Come at me. What it, when is come it? At me. Teach us about it. Oh my oh my Dirt Fest is a motocross track that I grew up racing on dirt bikes. It is at Valley Motocross in the middle of Michigan. 
Um, the guy sets it up. Steve is his name. He sets it up for um, trucks, side by sides, one weekend only, and it is a massive turnout. Like you got pre runner trucks going out there jumping, you know, 130, 140 feet. I don't, all the motocross jumps are set up for side by side. Yeah, they change the jumps around. Yeah. Oh. It is insane. It's awesome. And uh, mm. you know, if I ever take, you know. So do we all pile up in one bus, guys? And just well, what what <laughs> day is this? Because that's takeovers the end of June too. Oh, that that's would be the right. only bummer. We'll be in Coos Bay. They need to rearrange some of these dates, man. We need to get all these people that it's yeah. Oh, it's a scam, court. dude. I'll look yeah. it up quick. You guys keep talking. I think it's June twentieth. Is okay. it the exact day we're ah, yeah. the exact day? <laughs> yeah. Come I here, we in, are trying I to. I think we are in Coos like the 16th through the 20th. Well, Wilkie's been out there quite a few times. Has, Has he? he? Yeah. It must not be. Well, he comes out there and hangs out for the whole week because there's a couple places there that you know off camera is. B A. Pretty what, Frank? What was that? B A. Oh, you know, where? BA. Where? You know, it's PG. Where, um, Dude, it's July 19th and 20th, you dork. Oh, oh, right. hey, uh, even better. Yeah. We don't do anything in July. Yeah. It's too hot here. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Um, it's, we, it's, we hot. Usually, yeah. it's perfect, perfect Michigan weather. It's miserable here to do anything Lots in July. of fun. You're yeah. coming. I'm already there. And yeah. you could do Silver Lake, too. Get that out yeah, of the way. Yeah. Get that I'm out of your there. system. We'll have, we'll have our big uh, collab, Dirt Dudes. You yeah, know, there we go. Yeah, there you go. You guys going to go to Winrock? No, I mean we have. I've been, yeah. Uh, no, I'm talking about. No, yeah, they're going. They're, we're all going to Winrock. Yeah. I think that happens right before our uh, Florida trip, or oh, right so after. I forget. Perfect. Yeah. So it's on the way or on the way back. There you go. If it lines deal. up, we'll go. Yeah. That would be awesome. Here's the deal. I'll come race you. Yep. If you come race me at our race nights. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, a little. But you got to bring clapped out. Ooh. Oh, we need a transmission. How many you got, dude? Yeah, uh, a whole bag of zeros. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I bet you Jed's probably got one sitting in the shop just hibernating somewhere. Maybe. Mm, yeah. Maybe we can come together with our power and negotiate a deal on a transmission because mm-hmm. I want to see this car going this year. I like, do too, man. 100%. There's a lot of people I, that want to see his machine back yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the YXZ crowd is cool. They're wild. Yeah. They're, they're like Pope. hardcore. Pope. Oh, yeah. Once you know, like you once drive anything know you else, and they're like, "Why are you driving anything else?" I'm like, well, "I still have my YG. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I just like other th- cars too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's hard to drive that thing. Why are you driving something sucks. incredibly superior? Yeah. <laughs> right? That's exactly it. Like, no, I still like yeah. driving that piece of junk, but yeah. they are fun. Like they're I've driven them a couple times, and like just the shifting and the banging of the transmission. Yeah. Like it's this thing is breaking, right? It, no, that's <laughs> yeah. how it sounds the whole so time. No, it's it supposed break to when you get to a certain point. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the Maverick R when it downshifts. Like the first time I ever drove one, I was like, something broke on this? Because yeah. it downshifts it so aggressively. Right. What are your guys' thoughts on the Maverick R? Never driven one. I've driven one. Yeah. I thought it was silly. No? Ooh, Very you silly. You're a can Silly guy. car. He has a what? R. Well, Pro R, yeah. Right. It's not better than a Pro R. The, the best thing about the Maverick R is the damn transmission. That's all you're paying for is the transmission, which is cool, right? What about DCT. The front end? I mean, come on. The, I mean, okay, front end's great, but control arm's been working just fine for a long time. So, I mean, it's cool. It's like, it's kind of like the smartest guy in the room. That's what, you know, it's kind of what the car looks like to me. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. instead of just, you know. Definitely, I'm not able to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm the out. Doogie Hauser of the side-by-side world. So here's here's what I was told in, in confidence from Shock Therapy. It's no longer going to be in confidence. So BRP shipped these things with a weird shock tune. The early ones got a bad shock tune, right? It's electronically controlled damping on the shock, right? Yeah. yeah rebound, whatever. So, like, if that goes wrong anywhere, it's going to make the car ride poorly. It's going to bottom out, right? The one that we got when I was at Side by Side Blog bottomed out over the tiniest little mid-dune whoop ever and, like, blew my back out. So I was like, man, this thing sucks. And then we took it to shock therapy before they went to, uh, it went to Glamis and they put a race tune on it from, I think like one of the race cars, I don't know if Kyle Cheney or whoever the hell. Uh, and it was like night and day difference. Really? Hmm. So it's just literally like an electronic shock tuning problem that made it so from poor. The chatter yeah, was like, I jumped out of my pro R and I jumped into that Maverick R and riding the same spot in a stock one. It was a demo yeah. one. And the chatter was so horrible. Yep. And I got out of it and I was like, is there just something wrong with this particular track? So I jumped in my Pro R and went in that same exact one, Bone Stock Pro R. And I was like, oh my God, how could anybody want to drive this Maverick R? Yeah. And it could have been that scenario. Could have been that same it. issue. It's very unclear like how many cars were affected by it, but like it's clear as well that Polaris uh, prioritizes ride quality over anything. 
Mm-hmm. Right, you know, driven a Pro R, you have a Pro R. Like, I love that thing. I love that. Yeah, like, ride quality is nuts. The Pro R is is a great machine. Heavy. Good unit. Let's talk about the Expedition guys. I mean, I this like guy he drove he drove on like two times and he can't I get over him. Dude, I love him. The best machine in the world. I, I did a <laughs> yeah. We did a review on our channel of one, and I thought I would be going into something that was going to drive like this bus that we're in right now. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't. I it is I was incredible. blown away. At how great the suspension for yeah. such a heavy yeah. unit. Yeah. Like, I was just like, oh, it does have a lot of sway if okay. you've ever drove well, one. It's a big I, unit. Yeah, I know. I guess and I'm just narrow. always expecting a Pro R, everything yeah. I it's get narrow. in. <laughs> yeah. But it is an awesome rig. Yeah. I wish they weren't so expensive, but oh. people that drive, and I like Jeeps too, don't get me wrong, I'm yeah. not a hater. But like, if you drive an expedition and no. you really mob it, like Zach's a key example, he has yeah. put probably 20,000 miles, rolled it six times, whatever else he's done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, you literally like, I just think it's a cool rig. Like he doesn't even drive his truck; he literally just drives his expedition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense. It's what it's for, right? It I is. like them. Have you you've ridden in one? Obviously, I've driven two of them. Really? They are in. Never driven a two seater, but like the four seater is so incredible. I want the two seater, but my freaking wife had to go and get pregnant. I'm with you, I, I like it. Hey, that. congratulations on <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, 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 dude. His penis uh, works. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> uh, it took 12 years. But. That's like a rest in peace to a two seater ever. <laughs> Just get one of those <laughs> sketchy bump seats. Yeah. yeah. You know, who cares about the kid's safety? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's overrated. I mean, <laughs> my son rode in the, I literally strapped his uh, car seat to the center of the YXZ. That's all we had in the beginning. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so I got my son and my wife riding in me. It's... Boy, Ocean in... would love you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> CPS. <laughs> CPS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frankie J. Yeah, we know that guy. He's fine. Yeah, <laughs> we've dealt with him a time or two. We know what's going on there. <laughs> He's all right. That's... No, I, I think the expeditions are awesome. I really do. I think they're really rad. You should drive one one time. Bro, you yeah. know what's crazy? Out of all the videos that we've done on our channel, that is the highest counted video we've ever done. Really? And yeah. I think it's like 70 or 80,000 views, which is a lot for us because we're a way smaller channel than oh, you that's guys. That's badass, dude. And mm-hmm. I was like, my wife was so against She's like, I don't want to do this video. It's so stupid. I'm like, babe, this is the expedition. He's the first one in Utah. He's one of the first people in the country that actually has one. Right. And he says, take it. I watched and it. It was oh, a good video. And like, so we did it, and my, my wife's like motor trending it out. If you look at this, this blog, and I was like, oh my God, babe, we're like motor trending. It was so funny. But, anyways, I was just sitting there thinking, this is going to be cool. The negativest, that's not a word, the most negative video or reviews as far as people replying. Okay. I have never, ever seen so much negativity. Every single person. That's dumb. That's the stupidest car ever. Buy a Jeep. Buy a Honda Passport. Buy a Kia Soul. You know what I mean? You I guys was like, don't have a clue then. If, yeah. if they ain't yeah. it, they don't understand it. Right. I don't even argue Hate with them anymore. Hate to stick on this because it isn't really anything we want to talk about, but that expedition is a badass truck. Who would have thought Frankie J would have liked an expedition yeah. oh out of God. all people here? Right. No kidding. What a weirdo. Hmm. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> I am, I, so I took it to that same bowl that I was talking about earlier wide open around these things. These whoops are literally three foot tall. Yeah, they're big whoops. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> that thing handled it like it was It was almost better than, it handled it better than my 2C X3. Yeah, those shocks are yeah. not even like external reservoirs neither. They're like, no. they're just. And it's Yam- it's Yamaha, it ain't even a, a trailing arm. It's literally, you know, the, right. the old A-arm yeah. looking, yeah. Yeah. whatever H-arm A-arm. looking thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even understand how it did it. That's crazy. Anyone that mm. says buy a Jeep over any side by side is an idiot, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, Look, I you ever mob the Jeep, Jeep through the whoops? Dude, Get out I of here, to, dude. I used to do Toyotas and Jeeps. Like, yep. they don't compete. No. no. The suspension's so terrible. Right. It's such a terrible ride. Any side by side is going to s- destroy a Jeep. Mm. Yep. As soon as you say that, you've lost all credibility to me. It's like, and you <laughs> yeah. can't even use the air conditioning or the heat logic or anything because the expedition has <laughs> yeah. it. You know, yeah. I don't always try point. to use an argument. Or uh, radio. I mean, they come with a badass JBL. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the stereo, and it sounds so good. <laughs> I turned it up, and I was like, so bad. I didn't expect it to sound it that rocks. good. So that's factory on that sucker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, I think it's an option, but. Yeah, I think on the North Somebody Stars, like the ADV, it. like the top tier one, okay. they come with it factory. That's badass. I, I don't know how we ended up in the expedition yeah. world. We're like, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're, we're, we're changing everything from racing to overlanding. Right. Uh, Get a widow wada. Yeah. A widow wada. <laughs> a widow wada on the outside. Get a widow wada on the back. 
That's funny. Fuck it up on a widow walk. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just seen that the other day. For, yes, the, first, I mean, for every, the first time. Every Overlander guy in the world, though, just kind of parks it up on that little boulder, yeah. takes the picture. You it's like perfectly that. clean. Mm, mm -hmm. Weird. Anyway, it's I'm like not. The, yeah, BSing the salesman overlanders. that taps on the roof of the car. It's kind of like that's what that is yep. in the world, yeah. of the off road world. It's pretty funny, man. Expedition, yes, yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Seems 10 like 10. the same uh, reviews I've been getting on my video I did is about this room. Me and Frankie are the only two positive remarks on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's I haven't I driven know. it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing that. We should get that one that your friend Chris has. Yeah, Go rip it. it. Yeah. Yep. I want a two seater one so bad. So what is to come? Like, what do we get to look forward to from Race, Rebuild, Repeat? It's a great question. Uh, well, we're coming back in a couple months now. What do you mean? Oh, my, back get, here. Yeah, to get my arm fixed. Yeah, we found a guy that's going to give us a deal on some stem cells, which is kind of a weird thing to get a deal on, I guess. Who's doing it? You know? Uh, he's got his I have him saved on my phone as stem cell guy. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> what? So he's going to inject my arm with stem cells. R really? Apparently he's going to fix it. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got a real bad shoulder injury, so... Oh, so they are truly using stem cells now. Yeah, yeah. we crazy. thought it was just a Mexico thing. But yeah, really? like go to Colombia to get stem cells or whatever. But these are like uh, umbilical cord stem cells, and they're pulled out in such a way where it's okay, I guess. So. Yeah, I cannot raise my arm. Like that's it. Oh, yeah, I was no. raising the roof the other day, and Frank couldn't participate. Oh, Poor no. guy. Oh, your roof was at an angle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was pushing the wall, not raising the oh, roof. It's similar. Man, that's okay. You got to hold the walls up to have a roof on top, it's buddy. Crazy too, because I've broken a lot of bones in my life. Like, yeah, I used to I race motocross, so a lot of arms, a lot of wrists, uh, everything. This is taking way longer to heal than rotator before. cuff. Yeah, and the libram. Yeah, oh, that's yep. a bummer. Oh. It'll get you when you tear that muscle. It hurts. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Feel bad. Yeah. Yep. So then we'll be back for the stem cells, and then we're going to be back for takeover invasion. Damn it! I'm invasion. so bad with these names. I'm UTV so sorry, invasion. Trevor. UTV invasion. UTV yeah, invasion. Say it again. Yeah. Just look down. <clears throat> I know, but then my neck will look fat. I don't want to look down. I want to hold my chin up a little bit. You know, you get that double chin thing. You know uh, the deal. I think just point you look beautiful, just the way you are. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I got Doctor Parker. <laughs> doctor, <laughs> is that a doctor that's yeah, doing it? That's doing your shoulder. Is it Doctor Parker? <laughs> they, gave, they have merch. Yeah, you know, you're at the right doctor when he's got merch. You know what I mean? That's Garrett's brother's this shirt. Is my dentist. Man. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. great. It's Not nice. really. But. So we'll be, we'll be back for that, doing a little stem cell action, and then uh, when is that exactly? Sometime in May. I don't know. Uh, Our schedule is what you'd call open, Ooh. right? Nice. We so. like to fill it as quickly as we can. That reminds me of my ex-wife's uh, schedule. It was always open. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no races planned or anything? There is going to be uh, some shorter, smaller race series in Michigan that we'll do. That's just kind of like the thing that we just did very similarly. Yeah. Let's talk about it right now. I don't know what it is. You so, don't even you, know this because you're not in my DMs. Yeah, Frank doesn't share information with me if you can't tell. So let's hear Get about in it. Get that Frank. man's DMs already, man. <laughs> there is a, a small motocross track down in the southern tip of Michigan. Which which tip? Southern. Uh, like southwest? Western, western tip. Southwest, okay. Hillsdale. Okay. Moto Extreme, I think is the name of the track. He wants to put on a motor. He wants to put on a side by side race. Okay. So. Are we doing that then? I, I think he's to the point now. That's why I haven't told you because it's you know, it's in the works. You I know, I don't want to tell the world until. It well, you could just. I'm. I'm just me. You, know? you just tell me. I could help. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell them off camera. Yeah. So help me <laughs> help you, Frank. Please. What we're getting at is uh, there's definitely an option of a race happening. I think it's June first. Oh wow! Okay. Nice. Cool. Cool. Noted. Sweet. That's coming up quick, dude. That's coming up. Really is quick. your arm going to be working by then or what? I'm gonna be in a car. I'm gonna be in kit. So when I get okay. Mm. Don't you have to like. Yeah, what was that face for? That's my. That's supposed to be my race car, Frank. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I already ruined my trail car. Right. Oh, I'll just go in your Pro R then. I'll take the Pro R. It's my trail car. I'll take the Pro R if you don't want it. I mean, I know. <laughs> I thought I don't want it. I just don't want to wreck it. All right. Okay. So I understand that. Yeah, yeah. Those are expensive to fix. I no. do. So let's yeah. fix clapped out, and we'll be fine. That's probably actually cheaper to fix clapped out than to fix my Pro R currently. What, what happened right? exactly yeah. to how, your Pro R? How bad is it? Dude, I'm, it wasn't even bad. I'm just such a moron. So, like, you know, I can't adjust the shocks to be any lower. Like, every one of their brothers is like, the thing needs to be set up lower. But at full droop, the springs are already loose. You, are you, you don't want to do that. Springs? 
They're shock therapy springs, yeah. So Jake was having that same problem with his MTS setup where the springs are just so tall, even if you were to bring it all the way up, yeah. the car is just way taller than factory, and the yeah. center of gravity is just insane right yeah. now. Yeah, well, well, these are to the point where at full droop, the springs will be loose. So there's more I can go up on them, but I'll need limit straps, which, of course, uh, I didn't have, right? Mm -hmm. So the car was just tall. And uh, I was coming around a corner. I was in the final race. I had to beat this guy twice to do it. And he was the fastest guy on the track. He had a cutter break. Mm -hmm. so, like, oh, he could I go remember these that. Corners yeah, real quick. I watched that. It was good. Full scam, in my opinion. <laughs> like, that's a scam car. Don't bring a cutter break to a race. Anyway. I, I approve. There was <laughs> money on that, too. <laughs> right. If it was just for fun, no problem. Yeah. But if there's money on the line, like, let's have a little bit of regulation. But is it a run what you brung scenario that you it guys is. read? Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I don't care. It but, wasn't quite run what you brung. Because if it was run what you brung, we would have had studs in our tires. That's a good point. Ooh, yeah, yeah. that would helped a lot. <laughs> So anyway, I just came around a corner, caught a rut real bad, uh, left rear tire, kind of hit a somewhat of a berm, set the car up wrong. And uh, to get it to do what I needed to do, I probably should have given it more gas to set the rear end down. I kind of panicked because it was going up. Like when you get into a rut on an X3 or a, or a Pro-R, as you know, the radius rods kind of like to come under themselves, oh, you know? Yeah. Instead of transferring the weight inwards from, from the corner of the rut, it kind of pulls them under, mm. brings the center of gravity up, and then you just get tippy, and I tipped it into a berm. And, uh. you know, just, just simple stuff, door frame, like the door mount, which is part of the frame, which sucks, and then all the panels are broke. That's kind of why, like the speed cars or the, um, or you know, the Wildcat XXs, they had that that dominating advantage with their suspension because it was nothing but a trailing arm. Yeah, and it didn't do it didn't that weight rise. transfer thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yep. definitely different. So, what all did you damage exactly? So, yeah, door frame, uh, all the panels, the frame that the door frame attaches to, or the door, or the just about the that door little arm to. that comes out. That yeah, stupidest design. So yeah. I, when I had to fix his car, when he wrecked it, the fr well, it wasn't even you. Well, yeah, it was you. Yeah, it was yeah, you. No, we would, yeah, well, yeah, it was it's you. <laughs> Whoever it we'll was. We'll edit that part. Part of your DNA. <laughs> but, like, I thought the car would have been totaled because when I wrote the quote up, it was $26,000, I think. Yeah, something like that. No, dude, makes sense. I had to, insane. Oh, my God. I had to pull everything apart, bending stuff, because you've got, I remember on the Turbo S and the XP1000, oh, the old XP series, yeah. how that B pillar would come all the way down from the cage and go all the way to the frame. Mm -hmm. Well, how your Pro R is in the Pro series where that it goes up and then they put a bracket on it for Horrible the doors. Plan. It's the most terrible design ever and it's welded and so instead, instead of Instead of a bolt, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Yeah, it rips the frame every time. Yeah. Every single person I've seen roll it on their yeah. just tip it on their side. This the one frame. luckily didn't rip the frame. That's it good. just bent it in real bad mm -hmm. so we're going to have to get like a, you know, port of power hydraulic yeah. deal to bring it back out. But like, you know, little things like uh like the door frame itself and then door panels like Used to have a Polaris deal. Obviously, don't have that anymore. So, like, that crap's gonna be like 800 bucks, dude. Frick. Yep. Only made 600 bucks on the race, too. Dang it. Damn. <laughs> We're net loss, Frank. Yeah, it always happens. <laughs> I don't know that it always happens, <laughs> but I do crash a lot in these races. It's kind of why I don't want to crash my crash Pro R. It'd be nice to have a, tro or a race car, huh? Yeah, I know. If, if only if I had only one. You had if a only car. I had one. If only you had a race car. <laughs> what about that Can Am? <laughs> Well, yeah, but Frank drives it now, right? <laughs> kind of weird. I know. He put his sticker on it that says 117. It's over. Oh, it's over. <laughs> you claimed it. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Smart shocks he and all. He huh? the shop. He goes, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> I go, brother. <laughs> I don't know what to Got to do what we got to do around here. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. But, uh, yeah, back to what your question was. Um, so, yeah, we'll be doing that. Coming here, getting some stem cells. Maybe this race thing Frank's talking about. And I think we want to just continue doing things that uh, we haven't been able to do in the past. You know, visit these new dunes, yeah. well, Idaho, well, obviously. Yeah. Mm. And and we're not strictly UTVs. Yeah. Yeah. We're, you know, car guys, too. So. All of us here, believe it or not, are car guys. That's something yeah. Colt and I were talking about. Is like, he's a big Lexus guy. He loves, you know, like all this new Jay-Z stuff. And, Sweet. And I'm a big car guy as well. Like, you know, like I, all of us here derive from the car scene, I think. It's know? just and, like how it manifests into mm -hmm. like, I want to drive something hard and fast. Like, yeah. can't do this in a yeah. car truck because it's too much money. Right. But then you end up spending way more money on the side-by-side. -side. <laughs> oh, like, God. Oh, frick, that didn't work out at all. But I still have a license. That's the, that's the key. I still can go drive my car like a jackass and not get tickets for it. No points? Yeah, no points. In the dunes. You're saying you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, can side side. I can drive, I can I didn't drive get my side-by-side. Side. Yep. My side-by-side side like a jackass and not get in trouble. If I do that with a car, my license is gone. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get caught. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I mean, That's why I love side-by-side. Maybe yeah. I have so many points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just got to stick to off-road. 120 down I-15. 
<laughs> ah, we don't need to go this fast, man. <laughs> ah, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> you can see 100 miles down the road. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Because what's the speed limit on the freeways from you guys? 75 is the top. Yeah, oh, 75 That's is still two, good out man. there. Yeah, so you, can go, go places you can go 85, east. no problem. In California, if you're towing, you cannot go over 55. What a scam. 55. And it actually, to me, makes things more dangerous Fuck. than it makes it Absolutely. safe. Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, in South Carolina, that's where Dustin went to school. Okay. Yeah. There's road, uh, freeways that you can't go over 55 in a mm. car. It's insane. Wow, it's Sammy like, Hagar is pissed, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was blown away wow. when, I, when I went out there. That's the worst part because, like, let's think about why the U.S. highway system was invented, right? It was it was built to to compete with the Autobahn, mm-hmm. right? Autobahn, we all know you can go as fast as you want, right? These highways, the corners aren't sharp. Like, you could easily go 100, 120, right. no problem. Why go 55? I don't know. It's too In slow. In the left lane of all things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Really kills me out here. Yeah, that was something that we ran into, Frank. You know, you were driving, and we were in that HOV lane. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 72 and an 80. Like, what are these people oh, doing? Yeah. It's oh, maddening. Yeah. And then they oh, brake yeah. checked you, too. They brake checked yeah. me. And I'm in a double white line. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who brake checks anymore, though? Like, I thought that thing, I thought that was over. <clears throat> oh, man. That's, yeah, it's interesting. It is weird. This is, I yeah. think, what's, what do you think? I think us or Texas are the two fastest speed limits in the country. I've I seen 85 in Texas. Texas has an 85, and I think... I think we just have 80. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cars is tops out. Tops so I feel out. like 80 is realistic, because we all know we're going to go five over. Yeah. You can't get somewhere I, at 85 like, nice. nicely. Like, yeah. And hey, you're not getting pulled over until hey, you go 10 it's, over. It's uh, eight your fine, nine your mind. You ever mm-hmm. heard that? Yes, yes. Eight your five, nine your mind. Yep. What? <laughs> it's uh, basically saying if you go over eight miles per hour over the speed limit, the cop's going to get you. Oh, it's some but sort if you're of like, rhyming thing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was seven year in heaven, eight year something, and nine year getting a, I don't know. A fine. Yeah. You got a date. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Though. I mean, yeah, you got yeah, yeah. So your truck's pretty cool. Oh, the Cyclone? Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. That's a pretty cool truck. Yeah, I really like that truck. Turns out, great purchase overall. Mm-hmm. I've wanted one since 2006. I had the opportunity to buy one when I was 19 in 2006 for $8,600 on eBay. And it was like basically the same truck I have now. 65,000 miles clean and uh wouldn't that be something if it was the same truck that would be it dude it could be <laughs> this one had like a weird like embroidered seat on it that's like the last thing i remember about it but anyway uh and then went to the bank to get the loan my dad co-signed on it and then at some point he was like who the hell denied i forget it was so long ago but for some reason the loan was denied and my dreams just in front of me crashed. Oh. You know, I was working at Little Caesars at the time, which could be part of it. Oh. <laughs> Making hot and ready's right Wait, when you came what out. What year is this? 2006. So I was oh, 19. Yeah. Wow. yeah he's, he's, That's a cool dad to go yeah. and like sign with you. Yeah, my that. dad's pretty solid about so, stuff. You're 38? 37. Yeah. You're 38. And I'm older than you. How old are you? 38. I just turned 38. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Look at that. We're father figures. Mm. I am respecting my elders, so I I appreciate it. Sorry. I got you off topic, but... No, that's okay. Start Um, doing math. And and yeah, but since 2006, I've always wanted a Cyclone. Like, they're so cool. I never sat in one, never sat in a first gen S10, and then bought it, sight unseen, showed up (laughs) with cash, didn't even sit in it before I gave the guy the cash, sat in it, and I said, I don't fit in this, (laughs) actually... Uh, Talk so, st- I mean, yeah, you get it. It just didn't work That's overall. Why I did all the driving. Frank, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes yeah. so much more sense now. <laughs> yeah, like, like yes. When I drive it, like I have to like get into this weird position and kind of get my neck down and like do this thing with my head. It's not good. That's, That's how the Ford Ranger single cabs were of that era yeah. too. Like same way, like there's no space in them. Yeah, hmm. but yeah. The truck is cool. It's like, a really cool tool to use to, you know, make some videos because I think that Cyclone Typhoons are regaining some popularity. Yeah. There's a lot of big channels that have been doing stuff with them, so it's cool to be a part of that in some way. Pretty yeah, happy right. about that. I was a big Grand National guy growing up, man. My dad had <laughs> yeah. a bunch of them, and I just loved the Grand Nationals. And it, like when I saw you guys, and I was like, "This is how they're coming out." Like <laughs> y'all didn't come out like with your first few videos, like like you know, like tiptoeing. Y'all full on came out with a bat, yeah, and a, we had a ball, freaking magnum. Yeah, I mean that's rare. I mean, honestly, I love <laughs> the magnum too. I was hoping there was gonna be a Hellcat swap going in it, and then you're like, "Bam, we're breaking out all the good stuff." I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Well, yeah. the whole point of that. So I talked to Tom. So I'm friends with Tom Bailey, 
uh, just because we've crossed paths a couple times or whatever, and I, we have numbers exchanged. And I texted him. I said, hey, I want to do this series where it's like buying a cheap Magnum and road tripping it to Sick Week and having this story, right? Like yeah. the cheap Magnum, you know, oh, it's going to be this cheap thing. So it was 2500 bucks. I'm not sure if you want that shared, Frank, but it's too late. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Super cheap. Seems and realistic, yeah. though. For a pro- Is that the 5? That's a 5.7. Right yeah, it's now. a Hemi, yeah. And then, of course, when it uh, broke, it was like, ah, oh, shoot. Like, we got to do something different here. And that cyclone, as you saw in the videos, was not prepared for any sort of road trip. No. It was a miracle it made it after the fixes that it got. But, like, whew, that was a big risk. The whole, everything that lined up so perfectly for that whole trip was just yeah. insane. I can't believe y'all pulled all that off. We took a paperweight to a race yeah. in hopes that something fixed it. You know, yeah, and yeah, what a McFarlane Chevrolet had the part. Yeah, yeah, map, yeah. What, was it an o, not an OC, oh, map yeah, sensor, map sensor, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, how the hell you found that? That's so crazy. I and just called and I said the closest one is in freaking blah 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 Kentucky at McFarlane Chevrolet. And as soon as, as soon as I heard McFarlane Chevrolet, I texted I texted Garrett. I said, listen, I, the the Magnum we have for sick week is screwed. It, the part for this thing is at McFarlane Chevrolet. I'm taking that as a sign that we need to do this it was meant to be that yeah. was a hundred percent your sign when i saw that i thought it was a joke when you said it and then <laughs> no, i was dude. like no way i didn't even know that dealer existed but apparently it's pretty popular no yeah oh yeah we they had some sweet cars inside that yeah they? Yeah. yeah super badass they did make an srt8 magnum just going back to that magnum for a half a second like of that era for a half a second yeah we've been looking at them if oh, the magnum oh have gets you? anything it's gonna have a fun is there a magnum Hellcat. future for uh, it's gonna R3. have a if it gets anything. Oof. I thought there was a whole nother idea, Frank. There is, but then I think Papa Smurf should probably. Oh, should that get idea. the okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're building a burnout truck. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. We're building a six O power stroke. Speaking of fast cars, the Supra. Oh, the Supra yeah. that's coming back out this year too. Is it? The carbon doors are going back on it, which is like three hundred pound weight savings. So pretty wow. badass. I just seen a picture yeah. of that. Dude, so they gotta fix the window. Yeah, the windows blew out last time I drove it, which is turns out super scary. Yeah, and then are they cut. fiberglass or? So the doors carbon are carbon fiber. fiber, and then you have to build a frame to make like a Lexan window. Or Lex, I was yeah, so I was talking about the window. Yeah, so it's sorry. Lexan, which is like bulletproof glass essential. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. super thin. Like you're not yeah. running half inch stuff. Oh, you're running okay. like you know three sixteenths or something, and just. Obviously, there's a lot of leaks in the car, right? So as you're going down the track, the whole thing's just going, to, oh, you know, because you're hauling and things are twisting and the rear window is, you know, buckling and the doors are buckling. Like, it's not like the safest feeling thing. And there's holes in the floor that are open as well. So, like, the air coming into the car, like, it has, like, that buffering sound, like, when you half open your windows, you know? Oh, yeah. It's doing that, like, nuts. Oh, so that created the situation where the windows were shaking and the driver's side window blew out. And then I just stayed in it because I'm a moron. And then the and then the door and then the, when the window frame and like the metal piece went under the tire and cut the slick. Luckily, it didn't explode. But, ah. but anyway, big big learning on that. So we have to have a lot more structure on the frame of the window to get those carbon doors to work. So what do you estimate that car to run on a good full pull with no issues? Mm, it's, it's never been turned up all the way, but probably 650. Yeah. That is ungodly fast. Yeah. That's fast. I've driven eight fifties and and that scared the crap out of me. Even to the point where I finally got used to it. Okay. It was still very scary. And what I, was that in? It was in a Grand National. Oh wow. Very very built. With a Buick National. motor? Yeah. Yeah. Very damn. Very, very, uh, compound setup. Yeah. Full. Actually, it was a Stroker, so I think it was like a four two, a little over four point two. Right. Uh, motor, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. And it was very very built, and it scared me. I've ran low eights in a boosted Busa. Okay. We used to drag race boosts back in the day. Now, that's scary to it, me. On it, a bike? Come on now. It is very scary. Yeah, I got a guy that messaged me and wants us to come race that, by the way. Uh, oh, Busa. yeah. A Busa? Oh, boy. Is it boosted? I, I would It's so. stretched with the with the weird fairing yeah. in the back, you know? It's like all carbon <laughs> fiber and everything. He's, yeah, you come run this. I'm like, yeah, sure. It's, can you do that, you think? Like, is that going to work with your shoulder? I've had one crotch rocket in my life. But I'm saying your current state of body. Well, once you're out of the I throttle, mean, like once hey, you're in the throttle, it's all air shifting. Red light comes on. There's no pain. Oh. Until you're done. That's a new merch idea, by the way. Right. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Noted, Frank. But anyway, yeah, Super's coming back out. It's going to get some uh, new stuff on that, which is good. They've got the motor situation figured out. So hopefully it doesn't blow up every single run. And then there's a fresh motor being built, too, for it. So if it does blow up, just kind of swap in another motor. 
That's right up your alley, though, Dude, boys. That like, is a fast car. Yeah. You want to come stuff. be a part of that? Ooh, sure. let's go. What are you doing in November? World Cup final? The weekend after Camp Razor? I don't know. Where is you ever been to like a? It's in Maryland. It's in Maryland. You ever been to like a badass drag racing event? Uh, we used to have a drag strip here that we could see some badass cars race, but not. I but like, like, a, but like a big bad. event. Yeah, yeah no. huge. Mm. This might be worth it to go. Yeah. World Cup finals, badass. Like every car you see on thirteen twenty or any of the big channels, all mm. Garrett stuff's there. Like it's we the best go. event. Yeah, you should bring the short bus. I think Cody yeah. goes there. I think Cody yeah. Phillips goes there. So, oh yeah, I, yeah. I know the name. He's the guy that has the white two forty, right? He's a super. He's a super guy. Mm. Oh, he's a big Cody Phillips. Cody Phillips racing. He's local here, and he's tuning our IS three hundred. Okay, I thought that was uh, the white two forty. Who is that? Dang it. Two JZ car. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, Cody yeah. Phillips sounds badass. Is yeah. it fast? His is pretty fast. I think yeah, he no, does more small. mile runs in Texas, like the yeah he does okay. the, high the Texas speed mile runs. or whatever it is. Okay, that's sweet. Yeah. So, so he doesn't drag race. He used to, but I think he went more along the the mile Texas runs. Mile. Okay. After the mile, like they the do one year. out here too. Have you ever been to it at the airport that they throw it at? Mm-hmm. Like Stradman and all those guys go there, and it's like. They're doing like 200 mile per hour plus runs. Like, so you guys like Canadians out here? Or what? Like, they do everything double? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Eight Canadians. They all they, they double everything. You know, when you go bowling, what was that movie? Kingpin? King, was it, was it Kingpin you know with uh, Larry <laughs> Munch or whatever? It was, it was Woody Harrelson. Yeah. He thought he was a good bowler, and, you know, it turned out to be he just, Canadians, they do everything twice as much. So <laughs> the score was higher. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody follow this at all? Yeah, and that with Bill Murray reference. and Woody Harrelson. Yeah, wasn't yeah. that that yeah, movie? But, like he has like what a about doubling? How have you not seen Kingpin? It's the greatest yeah, movie How old ever. are you two? I think we're it's trying called, to figure out the reference and kind of like where that transition to. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand uh, the double thing. Oh, yeah. the oh, mile long track. Right, uh, they, they, yeah, that's right. We're older. They yeah, it's, mm. it's and how old these youths, these, you, the two youths, your honor. I'm 31. He, uh, why is he lying about his age? It's okay to how look as good you, as you do. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah how old are you? I'm 41. Yeah, I'm 40. Yeah, look pretty good. I feel like he and I, we've got the same genes. Yeah. Yeah, we got mm. hair still. We got like that young look. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. People I mistake can't grow me. beard? I can't either. All I can grow really? is my little mush down. So I'm not yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? He really? over here with a beautiful beard. Yeah, you guys got, got all nice beautiful beards, beards oh. in here. Me and Frank. This sucker's tight right here. There's a beard guy out here, and I'm like, hey, can you guys fix me up? like, yeah, if you stroke it longer, you know, it'll grow better. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> stroke it longer? If you stroke it, it'll grow. Like, just you're just doing this? Yeah. PG I didn't know that. I just never did. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't know about that. I don't that I've never done that ever. ever. Do you do that? Because no. you got a good beard? No. Yeah. I don't. Look at these beautiful beards we're surrounded by, Frankie. I know. We gave it our best, man. We're not strokers, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> it's more of a pull for you. Yeah, we're in line six motors. We're coming. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, all right, back to the Supra. My bad. I don't know how. I mean, yeah. I mean, the <laughs> only thing to do with the Supra is, is rip it hard, and then you guys come to the World Cup and see some badass stuff. Like, I'm down. If you're car people and you like follow all the stuff like 1320 does and Garrett does yeah. and with all the drag cars, they're all there. Like, That's every awesome. one of them's there, and it's a regular-sized drag strip. Have it's not some extravagant Kyle? thing. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Which Kyle? Uh, Kyle, 1320. Yeah, of course, yeah. Like, I met him when he was still making DVDs, and we were in Texas. We were all big streetcar racers back then. Sweet. And I met him, and I was like, what are you doing? And he had, like, big camcorder. Yeah, huge thing. Sony shoulder yeah. mount, yeah. And he was like, I'm recording people racing, and I'm going to sell DVDs. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'll buy one of your videos. Oh, you nice, know what okay. I mean? And that was before YouTube. That was before yep. anything. And I just thought that was really rad. And then Garrett, like I remember him being with thirteen twenty and Me doing too, yeah. strictly their yeah. Instagram yeah, who stuff he was back then. You know? Yeah, yeah. and well, he just, wasn't anyone yet. Yeah. yeah, it's so wild to see people. Do you ever see people? Because you've been to that larger status mm-hmm. right of YouTube. Like obviously, Whiskey Throttle mm-hmm. started their own YouTube channel. We've had our own little channel for a little while. When you were little, mm-hmm. like beginning stuff, you know what I mean. Did you ever think that one day you would have people just walk up to you wherever you're at and just want a picture with you? Um, yes. Frank, yeah. That's the first time I've heard that. was my goal in life. Was it? There was I grew, no. far, I grew up a farm boy. Did you? And my dad bought me a dirt bike. And I said, I'm going to be Jeremy McGrath. I'm going to be Jeremy McGrath because that was my idol. That's awesome. And then did that ever happen? No. But 
But people know you. But you're a late bloomer. Look at you now. 41 years old. In case you guys didn't get that. He's still blooming. He's, on, he's like a, an orchid, you know. Oh. It'll die and come back and then oh. continue coming back. That's bigger a beautiful and better. flower. You should take that as a compliment. Something yeah. you guys don't know about this guy. He said many what Plastic Vir- viral videos yeah, random. before like, YouTube was even a thing. Yeah, really? random, yeah. Could you name us one that was... You probably have never seen it. But it was viral. MTV did a freaking spread on him. <laughs> yeah. No a, way. A, yeah. Yeah. MTV, yeah. Yeah. Like Pretty a weird. centerfold? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to spread my butt cheeks. Oh. <laughs> Went by the name Mike Concho. <laughs> oh, yes. I need to get that magazine. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, but I've just been recording stuff forever. And, it, uh, and yeah, some things kind of went big and went out on the internet. Like, there's just a couple stupid small videos probably no one's seen. But they got, at the time, like half a million views. That's like a lot. Yeah. 2005, yeah. Views. you know. 2005. So. Especially yeah. in 05. Yeah, don't, like, I didn't even have an internet back then. Yeah. yeah, I was big on like going on the internet as soon as it was a thing. So, uh, but yeah, and then when YouTube came out, like I was kind of like anti YouTube, which really? is kind of weird because it kind of seemed like it wasn't edgy enough. It was just like this family thing. Ah. But uh, no, back to your question. Um, I've never had any expectation for anything I've ever done ever. Never had like an aspiration. Just mm-hmm. like I like doing this, and we'll do it, and that's it. Literally. Do you like, have any advice for small people like us that are trying, not necessarily, I don't even think I'm trying to become big or Colt's trying to become big. We just enjoy making videos. Sure. That yeah, is same. the biggest thing. When Chris and I first started, and this is what I told you know Dustin and Clint and Colt, I was like, the biggest thing you can do is enjoy what you're doing. Make these videos fun. Make them a memory. Honestly, every video I make, I'm like, well, I enjoy watching this for my own memory's sake. Mm-hmm. Perfect. What advice do you have, though, to us? That's, yeah, that's a know. good question. I think um, first piece of advice would probably be, like, what you just said. Like, don't try to please anyone else but yourself, mm-hmm. right? So at the end of the day, at least you like what you're doing, which mm-hmm. is important. And I think that that advice kind of goes through, like, I've seen, like, it sounds kind of silly. But you guys know who Rick Rubin is? Mm-hmm. Or Jeff, Def Jam, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. And, like, he only does, like, he helps people make music, right? I guess for lack of a better term. And uh, he only gives people advice on what he likes, right? Mm-hmm. And if you know his history and his catalog of music that he's helped in, like everything that's ever been good, he's been involved in, mm-hmm. right? So obviously pleasing him is a good thing, right? So I'm not trying to say I'm Rick Rubin, obviously, but like you, pa- you have to please yourself first and then people will just enjoy what you're doing based on you liking it. Right. It might not be right for everyone. Right. But it's going to be right for someone. Ah. And see, that's another thing that that. we've been talking about. I think organic growth is so much more important than making one, you know, million view video and the rest of it. I know subscribers uh, that are, I know YouTubers I've seen where they got really good and then they fell off the map trying to do something else and they'll have a half a million subscribers, but they'll get like 5,000 views per video. And it's like, wow, that's, that's got to hurt to have. At one point, you were doing this, and then you tried something different to go against the grain. Vehicle yeah. Virgins is a key example of that. I don't know if you watch him or not. He's a big car Used viewer. to, yeah. He had a couple million subscribers, I think, and like you watch his videos, and he gets maybe five to 10,000 views. He went on a downward spiral, sadly, with drugs. And, oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Calling him right out. Shit. Uh, no, <laughs> Sorry, he, Parker. He, no, he, he was public about it. He was oh, very public know. about it. He came out and apologized to everybody because he just started doing some really weird stuff and posting it. And that mm. made me sad for him that he worked so hard to gain that and lost it all. But Yeah, anything can happen. But, you know, back to your, your asking on advice, I think pleasing yourself is really good. And then just uh, being consistent, you know. Mm. Like if someone can expect something coming from you at some point and you can kind of lead them into the next thing you're doing it's gonna build that audience to the next thing and then to the Mm -hmm. next thing Mm -hmm. so i think that was the idea behind going to sick week it's like at a bare minimum we're gonna have five videos out of this week yes and people are gonna want to watch it because they know what's going on in the event they're gonna be somewhat interested in what we're doing because we have our own story Mm -hmm. you know and yeah it just builds up an audience and builds anticipation for the next thing and then the last piece of advice is probably just a good story arc. You know, like if you plan on um, making more than five or ten videos with something and you have a schedule of what you're going to do, kind of create a story around your year or your month or whatever you're covering, mm-hmm. you know, and get people interested in the future. 
That's oh, probably my biggest right. piece of advice. Look at that. Man, I'm here with my mentor right yeah. now. Yeah. I feel very nervous <laughs> talking about it. I don't know why. <laughs> so I have, a, I have a question as well, and this one's going to be a little tough, but we're brothers, right? This is what we love to do. Triple. I do not want to mess this up. Yeah. More than anything. Sucks. Like, you've been through that. Yeah, I've been through it. What do you thing, have yeah. advice for, like, do you have any advice for, like, don't do this, don't, like, hmm. look out for this, like, warning signs? You know what I mean? Like, right. can we can we steer clear of that type of stuff before we get to a point that's... Yeah, so I think, you know, the, the biggest downfall is not having a person that's actually, like, steering the ship officially, right? You could be steering the ship unofficially, but if you're not actually able to make a sweeping decision, like, from a legal standpoint which is, you know, kind of getting deep here yeah, in the yeah. water a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's going to create a problem, you know? So whoever is steering the ship of this deal, you know, I don't pretend to know that. Whoever's yeah. the most hungry, whoever's doing the most work, that when it comes down to, like, doing a business or whatever you end up doing with this, that person needs to be in control. Okay. At least 51%. Yep. And they need to, everyone needs to be, like, on board with... With that person plan. being in, in control. And if there's any, like, people can tell right now you, you people that are watching us right now they can tell like the how you feel mm -hmm. like it's so weird yeah 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 people pick up on things that normally you wouldn't think they pick up on just yeah. like you know someone's perception of what's going on yep. and so but yeah just the piece of advice is just literally be able to be humble enough to say i don't want to take care of this and also i'm going to give you the power to take care of that and I'm going to trust then, you to do it. And I'm going to be the last person in line to yeah. make the decision. Yeah. Like That's good advice. You, know, you guys could all That's talk about it together and yep. come to like some sort of consensus of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But if there's a disagreement, even if it's all three of you disagreeing or just two, someone's got to say, this is what's happening. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. like and it that. might, you have to, you know, suck up your pride or whatever, but someone's got to be in control. Mm -hmm. You I can't, like you advice. can't have three people yes. trying to steer the same steering wheel, you yeah. know? I mean, cause your last venture started with three people. Yeah. This yep. is it. We yeah, got, a, we got a couple more. So his wife is involved and then we, we have another friend involved, but, but yeah, it's, it's, that's good advice. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's, and it's tough too. Like that's a tough thing to do. Like if you care about someone and you want to like build their, you know, implied responsibility about something, you're like, yeah, well, I'll give you this. Like, I want you to feel as passionate about this as I do. It doesn't actually make someone responsible or yep. give them more drive. It just doesn't. Yep. So someone's got to be in control and someone's got to, like, you know, there's two hands on a steering wheel, right? Not six. Yep. Not four. Ooh. It's got to be one person. That's a great metaphor. I mean, I drive one-handed, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the other hand's on the shifter, you know? You're still the only one in the driver's seat. So. And barefoot. I just had to speak. I don't know. And <laughs> no, I think fine. the other hard part, though, to add to that would be the fact that they're brothers. So it's not just that you're yeah. friends. You're also family. Right. So if something goes wrong, it's like, wow, I'm still stuck yeah. with you as my brother. But if you've gotten to this life. point, I feel like you guys are all on the same yeah, page. We're, yeah, we do pretty well. Pretty right. well. But you never, like, I mean, you never know. You know, I don't I, pretend I, to know the level of your yeah. business or whatever's going on. But, like, yeah. if it comes to the point of, like, this is going to make money, then yeah. someone's got to be. Yeah the person in charge and we are on the verge of that it's this gonna year, suck like, to do that yeah this year is we are like right on the verge of that so good i would like to set it up good so we mm -hmm. don't have those issues i'm pretty excited they hired me as their ceo yeah. i mean i think that's where we're actually going <laughs> in with all this is, <laughs> we hired you need an outside ceo you yeah. know and like even elon musk i think he has a ceo of tesla right? <laughs> you, you yeah. get paid a little less than elon's ceo though. i just need your love that, I got that's plenty of I that. Need, yeah. Man. Yep. Need my family's love. But that's my advice, and that's yeah. you know, I, again, I don't know who's doing what or what's yeah. going on, but like someone's got to take charge. Take charge, right. and it might cause a huge riff. But if you're all for the same large goal, yeah. how you get to that, the road mm -hmm. you take to get to that large goal doesn't yeah. really matter. Yep. Everybody, everybody needs to see the same thing. <clears throat> yeah. If that's fine, then you're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If your idea heavy. is growth and money, yeah. you have to all be on the same page. Yeah. Yep. And, and if you're having a great time doing it, then. Yeah, I think that's kind of where we're at. Like growth, up. obviously. Yeah. I mean, to do this over and over, you need some growth to keep right. that to keep that fire in your stomach. You know. Um, I just got to cut in quick. 
Sorry. No, you can. This is definitely the most best booth <laughs> anywhere. Oh, it's <laughs> been this it's been so mad. Cool. Man, these guys are killing it, dude. <laughs> it's been dude, insane it's been good. all weekend. Yeah. This has been good. Yeah. It's, it's been crazy all weekend. So it makes sense. I feel like you're kind of like this blooming thing that you got yeah. going on. Yeah. I don't know anything about what you guys got going on. I'm sorry about that. No, I'm not trying to be disrespectful yeah. at all, but it's not. If it's to the point of getting real, then it's it's so to that get point. Get real. You got I mean obviously I think it's going on out there. Yeah. It's happened so quick. There's yeah, not one other dude out here like this, I'll tell no, you. Right now. No, no. <laughs> and it's happened so fast watching them unfold like or, or bloom, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like the orchid, but maybe more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We decided to get real about it, what, a year and a half ago? Mm-hmm. Not even. I mean, not even a year and a half yeah. ago. Have and you incorporated? Like, yes. Yeah. Yep. So what was the decision there? So this is good. Awkward question. Because no, no, it's fine. Clint and his wife own majority of the company. So you're in you're in charge. Yeah, yeah we're and so we kind of started the whole whiskey throttle thing. We bought a bus 13 years ago. Okay, good. Started so, it, and then some friends went away, and brothers came in, and good. Yeah. So as you were talking about this, I already knew the answer to your question. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, this cool. is great. Yep. Like yeah. already, like this is great advice, and I already know the answer to it. That's well, perfect. It's already been done. But you guys are involved in a percentage as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all have our different percentages. Yeah. And, yeah. and that doesn't really mean that like someone should be paid more than someone else. No, as long yeah, as you're yeah. part as long as you're on the ship. Yep. yep. You and know? We need someone pulling the decisions. Yeah. Everyone else would be okay with it. And so far we've done a pretty good job of yeah. that, I think. I mean yeah. we've had a couple of fights, but we yeah. fight all the time anyway. And as we get brothers, over it, yeah. We get over it real quick. That's yeah, one of our biggest both. strengths. Yeah. Black guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just beating the shit what, out. Yeah, what you don't know is he's the one he used to fight yeah. MMA professionally. Oh, really? And so yeah, yeah like, you kind of look like a person that would do that. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we were good. at a party at a, at the compound one day, and I'm sitting over, and I turn around, and there goes Colt, just like going at it with one of the. Wasn't he a wrestler? Is my nephew? Yeah, your nephew. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what are y'all doing? Y'all are on the concrete, man. That oh, hurts. that's scary. Like, so what level did you get to? So I was pretty pretty high up in Utah. Okay. Um. One of the better guys in Utah, but there's so many levels. Right. So, well, I mean, are you levels. fighting like, you know, things that would have been broadcast somewhere? Uh, even even small levels. Yeah, they were broadcast live here, and then they were broadcast live on, I think, YouTube, too. Oh, sweet. One of my fights okay. is still up, but... How many fights have you had? I had three professional fights. Wow, scary. It was... How many amateurs? Uh, two? Two? Yeah, two. It's, well, really, it's well, really when the sport... Yeah, it was right when it started taking off. Local. What right. year was that? 2008, I think. Okay, so this is before it was like super specific. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're kind of like a brawler style, or did uh, you have a specific thing? It's crazy. So I I never wrestled, but I went in and I was just naturally good. Yeah. Naturally just picked up wrestling. I feel Hated. like you, that's why you and Frank are the same person. Yeah. Like he's never done anything I like never that. Never did any sport in my entire life, but I mean, I can pick up a baseball, I can pick up a bat, I can pick up a football. Like, yep. it's pretty good. And I hated wrestling. I wanted to just sit and bang with people. That was my favorite thing to do. Okay, but I was good at wrestling, so. Yeah. I'll be honest. When out. he fought Conor McGregor, that, that was <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no, I did have buddies like sparring partners and stuff that went to the UFC. Sweet, Pretty good. Um, I wasn't as good as them, but then, like, I had my my son. We had our son pretty early. He's okay. eighteen, so. Well, and it yeah, was man. a trans. It was a transition in sport too, where like yeah. you had people who were working a full-time job mm-hmm. and trying to train at night and weekends right. and trying to have a family versus some people were able to go full-time. So they're, they're in the gym eight hours a day and you're in the gym yeah. shit, trying to get as many hours a day. So it was, just, it was right. a huge transition locally. So I mean, yeah. 08 is crazy. That's still really early. Like, oh, yeah. You know, it was early. The big the big bust out in UFC happened, but it wasn't mainstream no. really yet. It wasn't mainstream. No. Wow, so, crazy. So yeah. don't mess with you then. Got it. Man, noted. I'm old now. I'm that's, broken. That's still, that's still in you for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We still... we. I actually, this what was it? Last two months or three months? We yeah. got Matt's out in my garage and started teaching the nephews. <laughs> really? And, yeah, dude. Wow. Everyone's so weak now. It's like yeah, yeah, the I men are that. so weak that I was like, okay, this is a problem. I need to at least get some killers in my circle. Yeah, right. Yeah, get close to You got to be able to defend yourself at some. Yeah, happens, dude. Right? It's getting bad. Yeah, that's and why the kids he are so weak. He chose me for a partner. Yeah, I, I, there was really only one choice, and it was always Frank. But <laughs> <laughs> it's also really tough choice. guys, so like it's yeah. pretty cool to be around them. So you two work well together too. Y'all do. I like yeah. the yeah. the vibe. You we do. got along like yeah. way before, and yeah. I was the one that vouched to bring him on to the previous team. Oh, okay, which was like an uphill battle. 
Really? Okay, because I felt like when you came in, it was like, oh, look at this. This guy just fits right in. No, it's because that's how we made it look. Oh, well, good job. Yeah. Everything's about perception, good. right? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's true. There was a lot of animosity. Yeah, you know, spotlight is important when you're something like that. So, and I don't, do you think that maybe they felt a little jealous that he is so good at driving? That's and big and words. Like I don't. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> oh, okay. You are a big. <laughs> wanna... You're a big personality. Yeah, like I, you attract people. I mean, I had a very, very strong motocross background. Me getting in a side by side was just natural. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So. You either have it or you don't. I truly believe yeah. that. You can either drive or you can't. I mean, yeah. you can be taught a little bit, but I feel like if you have that gift, you know. You can get better. Oh, yeah. But you've got to have some type of natural ability. Just, just well. feeling things is important. Mm-hmm. And Frank's a very big, like, I can feel what's going to happen with this thing. Yep. And, yeah, I, I can, no matter I what I he's driving. If it's, I, I know it's going to happen, so I can back out yep. a little bit before, or push it a little bit harder than most people. So I really yeah. To me, it feels that way anyway. I don't know if it looks that way or not. but it looks like it. Well, me. I mean, you yeah. do well at every race you go to. So, have you ever actually had like a rollover in a race or anything? Rollover? Yeah, I've rolled over like so many so times. <laughs> <He's laughs> no, in a race, like I'm always. I've never. No, I think every race I've rolled over in, actually, except for maybe like one of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the race I didn't roll over in was the one that you put on. Oh, in Saginaw. Yeah, in Saginaw. That was it, though. Yeah. Oh man, when you hit the tire, practicing. Oh, dude, that was yeah. such a bad crash. <laughs> I was oh, like, my oh, God. my gosh. I was like, I was in a rush to get there, and the practice session was, like, really short, and, like, I had to wait for some people to show up so I could take them there. And, like, I went out on the track. I didn't have my GoPro, and the car was like, oh, my God, this thing is working so good. I'm mean, just the most freaking confidence I've ever had in a machine and just caught a tire bad. And it rolled so hard, and it hit like a concrete barrier yeah. when it rolled. Yeah. And it hurt so bad. And uh, the car was, I mean, it would have been total had I taken it somewhere. Yeah. You know, but oh, yeah. had a good team to fix it at the time. So, Kit's a strong car. Yeah, it's a strong car now. A lot <laughs> done to it. So what all cars do you guys got in your fleet right now? So just so I still have beast mode, which is cool. First time yeah. I've said that publicly, right? Nice. So yeah, cool. pretty exciting. It's it's a, a skid. Like, there's nothing on it. Oh, yeah. Then? No, no motor, no a arms, no roof, no no, no hat. interior, no yeah. suspension. No, it's no. that. It's, so. it's a frame. It's gonna be it's gonna be an uphill battle getting that thing back together, uh, and then I have my X three known as Kit, which Frank is now driving as a trail car when it's like absolutely not a trail car, and then my Turbo not Pro R, car. which is pretty sweet. And I clapped out. I, mean, I, clapped still have, out. I still have clapped out. You see that some yep. uh, rafters, and then. Um, Frankenstein, which maybe is a multicolored one. Mm-hmm. It exists like in an alternate universe. Yeah, and we're trying to pull it back, which we can get it back in. Yeah. We could get it back yeah. in our universe at it's some point. It's nice. take it, nobody knows the story, so we're not yep. going to go there. But yep. it's around. Possible. Possible. What is future. that movie with Matthew McConaughey? Where Interstellar. Go, Interstellar. Interstellar. So essentially, you're Matthew McConaughey, and you're trying to go. I was going to say half baked. And you're <laughs> <laughs> could be that too, potato. But like, and you can go, and you can get into that other dimension, and you knock a book out, and then beast mode just like, like flies out or clapped out, like flies out of the books. You remember that? Scene? Yeah, an alternate dimension where everything just worked out. That'd be yeah, cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> rad. Just and I also want to in. Everything works. I also think <laughs> yeah. it's pretty rad that we're doing this podcast. And and if people are listening and not actually watching the video, they were literally staring at Matt from Matt's Off Road Recovery. Who, yeah, pretty awesome chair. Yeah, there. guys have never watched. He's just sitting right there staring at us. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, yeah. dude. Phil, you can't get in. This is a special. <laughs> yeah, special bus. This is the sweat zone. It's yeah. starting to turn yeah, into a song. Yeah, yeah, I was about to it say really we is. need to get it wrapped up because it is hot. Yeah. Like, I can't. How long is this sucker? I feel like we're an hour forty. Is that true? Exactly. Yeah, hour 40 it. and 30 seconds. Holy I could feel it. Crap. Wow. You know, we were only going to give you a half hour. Why is Nick so <laughs> wow. I mean, look. Like, you're so special. When it comes to, like, timing things and, like, filming things, like, and talking, like, I've just got my head wrapped around. Do you have a little Rain Man in you, think? <laughs> <laughs> right now, boss. my armpit is a Rain Man, dude. This <laughs> sucker's dripping, brother. As Theo Vaughn says, a little tiz. A little tiz. <laughs> a little tiz <laughs> I don't yeah. know what I got. I don't want to find out either. Uh, uh, me neither. We'll just leave it at that well thank you guys a ton for coming on dude oh, thanks for thanks having for us man I, awesome. I hope you guys kill it i'm really happy to see new things starting up especially with brothers it's really cool yeah. like we're all sure. on the same playing field we're all with the same goal and like exactly. i think the biggest change that i want to do this year is just to like you know 
just be cool with everyone yeah. and do everything. Yeah. yeah. And not try to be like that. You've never been to an expo. Yeah. Not try to be exclusive. Just be inclusive. Yeah. Yep. I so, like that. Yep. Hell yeah. That's that. Wise words from a wise man. Yep. We appreciate trying, it, guys. Trying, guys. Thank Big you so changes. much. Thank you Thank so you much. Good job, boys. Good job. It's over. <laughs> the sweatshop is over. <laughs> <laughs>